did the interview go? Oh, fantastic. Is Aunt Blanche here? I want to tell her all about it. And that I won't be home for dinner tonight. Oh, your gorgeous doctor taking you for another midnight cruise? <laughs> oh, no. Tonight I'm going out with Michael. Oh, Michael isn't the doctor. No, Michael's from the university. He's the one who interviewed me. Oh. Let's leave now. <laughs> oh, I was telling Ma about it, you know, how great the weather is and how she would never have to lift a finger for anything. And she really liked the idea of maybe coming out. Oh, well, I think it'd be great if she were to come out for a visit sometime. Well, I was thinking of more than just a visit. I, he once sold horseshoes to a Union soldier. <gasps> Yankee! Oh, no, no, I can explain. Fie, traitor. Oy vey. Well, that was a close one. We now call... I'll just leave you the brochure. Can you believe that man? He actually thought he was going to help us. Well, he did have one good idea. What was that? Cheesecake. You know, Dorothy, to this day, I cannot understand what you ever saw. Had to marry her. But why would she marry a guy like that? Because I was young. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Rose. This is your story. Go, go on, go on. Well, anyway, after 38 years of marriage and a painful divorce, he didn't want another. So I want to know why I overheard you on the telephone telling Anita Rubaker that I had my tubes tied. I said you bought a tube top. When did you have your tubes tied? I didn't. <laughs> if I had, it would have been about the same time you had your nose done. I never had my nose done. Rose is... We're going to have so much fun. I know where to find the best restaurants, best nightclubs, the best men. Uh, lunch. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that insensitive of me? Maybe you're not ready for men yet. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Jean, why don't we put your suitcase in Ma's room? Ma's going to... Oh, why not? I mean, the day's shot anyway. Great. And after I can take you to dinner. How about that little seafood place near the Fontainebleau where we run our honeymoon? Yeah, sure. Why not? Hmm. If memory serves me correctly, the last time we excused ourselves before the main course and rushed back to the hotel. Really, I do. Oh. I'll never forget what you've done for me. It's all over. Tell me, Rose, do any of your kids still have their own teeth? I know it's a little sweet, but it's Kirsten's favorite. So, what are you and your daughter uh, planning on doing this week? Oh, my granddaughter's never been to Florida before, so I thought I'd take them to Sea World and Gator World and Reptile World and, and Parrot Village. What? The parrots don't get a... Ma, yesterday you said you were going to pull the weeds. I said I'd get it done, and it's getting done, so lighten up. <laughs> Oh, my God. The storm must have knocked it down like This problem has to do with Holly. Her hair's not the color of a Twinkie. <laughs> Holly has done something terrible, Blanche, and I think you ought to know Listen, about Listen, darling, whatever it is, I'm really not interested. What? Oh, Rose, Blanche and I have been talking about this. There is a problem, all right, but it's not between... But actually, I've been working, oh, about 30 years. <laughs> Boy, you must really know your business. Dorothy's a very experienced teacher. Everybody who's had her says she's great. <laughs> uh, what do you say we get some drinks and go upstairs and, and have Dorothy teach us the three R's? You know, reading, writing, and running around. Is that all you Italians know how to do? Scream and hit? No, we also know how to make love and sing opera. <laughs> Mom, you had no right to hit him. Oh, Blanche, I'm... I'm... She has a debilitating disease. <laughs> ah! And it has a name. I am thrilled. We all are. Well, of course. Congratulations. Champagne it is. 
I can't tell you what a relief it is to just be sick. Not but you no just... buts. I'm not going to sit here while people are being forced to throw in the towel. Have you ever seen what happens to a person when their brain is allowed to disintegrate and their minds turn completely to mush? <laughs> bad. You want some breakfast? Not if you're making it. <laughs> oh, come on, it's an old family favorite. Chocolate chip pancakes. <laughs> Made with brown sugar, honey, whipped cream, and maple syrup. Oh, all right, but I warn you, it is very simple. Huh? What do you think? I think you're my best friend, so let's change the subject. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It's exactly what I would have picked. That settles it. It goes back tomorrow. Is there more than one? Well, I don't know. You said they. They, well, him. What difference does it make? That's how they got in. Oh, oh but wait, they might still be here. They're gonna kill us. They're gonna kill us. Stay. We wanted for the, uh, for the other parts, I think, the Bea Arthur part was described in the script as a Bea Arthur type um, <laughs> in the pilot script. So uh, we were very concerned, and Tony called from New York um, and said, I found her. Um. What'd you expect, Rose? I hardly think they have a Christmas club. Hi. I'm Rebecca Devereaux. We have an appointment with Dr. Manning. Right, he'll be with you in just a few minutes. Why don't you have a seat and I'll call you when he's ready. Open potatoes without burning your fingers. No, it can't be done. <laughs> it can be done. For only $12.95, over half a million Spornies have already been sold. Call this toll-free number now. Remember, with the Zaborni. A day without potatoes. <laughs> That's mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I came to religion late. I'd say, but it's never too late. And it is my fervent hope that the three of us, you and I and dear little Sarah, may walk the path of righteousness together. I'm your daughter. Oh yeah. <laughs> I need a bromo <laughs> I need a cheesecake. <laughs> Blanche, I hate to see you and Sophia fighting like that. She Listen, Rose, you are not to blame. Now, you know that. Of course I know that. <laughs> she was driving the combine. I wasn't anywhere near there. <laughs> Come on, Rose. Oh, color will return. Bye-bye. <laughs> now, who in hell was that? Another one of Rose's new friends. Friends? They're more like animals. All they do is party and carry on all hours of the night. I am abhorred. We know what you are, Blanche. I'm glad to finally hear you admit it. <laughs> it's a little surprise. We're not visiting Lillian as much as we're breaking her out. What? We can't do that. I mean, that's wrong. What if we get caught? Lillian is a great friend. Will you do it, please? Well, okay. Good. I'll keep the staff busy. You get Lillian. <laughs> hey, when did you sneak in? <laughs> Listen, I just got the television station to give me eight hours of airtime for the telethon. Rose, that's wonderful. The only thing is, there are so many things to get organized. I'm going to have to get somebody to help me do this. Well, you could sign a lot to give her anything too demeaning. Here it is. Should I read it to you and massage your feet like I did this morning? <laughs> no, why don't you just be a good little Diedenfrugen and keep your mouth shut? Now, I've heard that there's an article in here about Mario's winning the contest. Oh. Oh, my God. Everybody, listen to this. 
Alex Trebek and the Jeopardy people are auditioning contestants in Miami. They're coming here. Jeopardy. Oh, it's my favorite show. Wowie. <laughs> yes, Pussycat. Jeopardy is your favorite. Learn. Picture this. Brooklyn, July. 1949. Ma, can't you put a sentence together? You sound like a sportscaster. Ah, oh, shut up. Anyway, it was the night of your first anniversary. You showed up at my house at 2 o'clock in the morning, crying and carrying on. You looked like hell. You're right, I lied. There is no service entrance. A piece of good luck just fell in my lap. Three strangers who cluck. Well, it's their mishap. These friends who dropped in don't look suspicious, but check out my grin. They look delicious. What did you say? I said no. I guess we're paying full price for the cocktail, Franks. <laughs> Good news. Clayton and Doug said they'd love to go to the banquet with us. Oh. What? Oh, are you out of what is left of your mind? Why did you invite them? <laughs> Ma, I think this will be good for you. Mr. Porter seems like a nice man. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun there. And don't forget the money. I haven't had a paycheck since 1942. And then I blew it all on war bonds. Well, at least you got it back. No, Italian war bonds. I fell for that slick avatar boy. Could have been your father. I think we all grieve. Ma, that was 70 years ago. I was sure you'd forgotten. I forget nothing. So, any mail? <laughs> oh, no. If you want to move your product, you got to have exposure. All the great Italian chefs had it. Mama Celeste, Chef Boyardi, and Chef Balducci. <laughs> I don't remember Chef Balducci. Oh, right. He didn't have television exposure. That was indecent exposure. <laughs> woman acted out with sock puppets. <laughs> okay, you were saying? In the first panel, it says Sonia Klingenhofer in big letters, and the O has pigtails. What's in the second panel, Rose? Sonia's walking down this country road, and there's... When we sat down to our meal, Nick ordered a whiskey neat and a shrimp cocktail, which was positively uncanny because Miles always began his meal with a whiskey neat and a shrimp cocktail. You haven't had much experience with the uncanny, have you, Rose? Oh, Rose, I thought I heard your voice. I don't know how to put this, but I'm your father. believe it this really is the hospital oh, ma you have a hernia where do you think i was taking you it's the old tree house oh gee when i was a kid my best friend ingrid and i used to go up there all the time oh gosh i miss her i haven't talked to her in ages well, why don't you give her a call well maybe i will sure <laughs> Big help. Dorothy, what about you? You're always the sensible one around here, the free modern thinker who keeps up with the times. Now, what do you think? Blanche, I'm not sure that this is a good idea either. I mean, beauty pageants are archaic and sexist, not to mention degrading. Lost the little Miss Brooklyn contest, did you? <laughs> I practiced that trombone for weeks. Sure. This time I know what to expect. You're having the same operation again? I mean, don't they get it right around here the first time? Oh, no, it's nothing like that. About three years ago, I had a mastectomy. And, well, now I'm in for another. And you're not scared? I'm petrified. <laughs> You know, you really have to give Max and Sophia credit. This business was their dream, and they're going after it. I just wish I'd done that with my dream. Fine. Honey, would you check on the pizzas? One may be ready. Well, why don't you want to hear about my dream? Because it is all... Children made all the right choices. My son was a cross-dresser. My daughter was unmarried and pregnant. <laughs> Hell, 
I was the Rose Kennedy of Brooklyn. <laughs> steal money out of his wallet while he's in the shower. <laughs> We've agreed to keep our finances separate. He insisted on it. Well, that's good, at least. He even suggested that since we'll need a bigger place to live, I should give him my half of the money now before I even get there so that it'll be our place, not his, right from the start. <laughs> I just hope I remember everything the instructor said. Well, Rose, you must know what you're doing. After all, you did this with Charlie. Well, we wanted to, but... But... But? <laughs> Rose, the way you talked, I thought you two did this all the time. Now, wait, I'm, I'm confused. And you know, I feel like I'm getting smarter. That's what thrusts my breasts forward. <laughs> Blanche. Honey, you always did look pretty when you held your breath. <laughs> Jamie. Well, darling, why do you look so stricken? It can't be... Inside information like this, we could make a real kill and buy an original to Kimmel. Then we could sell the painting and pay for the roof and still have money to spare to buy whatever we want. Mm. <laughs> oh, now, wait a minute. Hold, hold on here. Hold on here. Oh, come on. Now, we're, we're behaving like, like vultures, like, like beasts of prey. Escape from it's a small world. <laughs> come, my darling daughter. Mother has made you your favorite breakfast. Lasagna in meat sauce? Mmm, doesn't it look delicious? And think, for just $5.95, the recipe can be yours. Oh. <laughs> Hold it, stop. Oh, Dorothy, by any chance, did you borrow my pearl handle six shooter? <laughs> Blanche, you look ridiculous. Well, I do not. I'm a cowgirl. Yippee, I old KY. <laughs> And without his leg, Lars came in dead last. <laughs> oh, that was a day to remember. I think every American remembers where he was the day Lars lost that toboggan. <laughs> well, Uncle Ben felt just terrible. I mean, he tried to make it up to Lars, and Lars said he forgave him, but you could tell there were still... What in the world is going on here? I thought you were in bed. I couldn't sleep, so I went out and got a pizza. Made a few friends, and we decided to have a party. David, this is an inconvenience. Fact is, I'm embarrassed. Don't be ridiculous, Dorothy. You love the man for who he is. It's not like he's driving you around in a tiny car with a giant key on the back. <laughs> is he? <laughs> No, you told me that I'm your favorite. Please, what favorite? Are you kidding? I thought I was dying. <laughs> favorite? <laughs> Everybody loves him. Uh, you sit right down here, Angelo. Uh, I got a surprise for you, Zabayoni. Uh, your favorite. Uh, mm. Oh, Sophia. And that's the new batch. <laughs> Joe. Well, I tell you, Dr. Bud, I really am sick. I have chronic fatigue syndrome. That is a real illness. You can check with the Center for Disease Control. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that. Well, I'm glad. At least I know I have something. I'm sure. Well... Total fool of myself in front of the press. I'm the laughing stock of the entire country. What am I going to tell my mother? Your mother's from St. Olaf. She'll understand. Oh. <laughs> I'm just stupid. I'm a dim-witted, dumb, simple-minded, grade-A Minnesota chucklehead. Eva. Yes. For I am an American. 
And I'm leaving. I don't need your lousy club to make me feel special. Oh, please. No! Oh, you lost the one. I took you. <laughs> Look, Ma, you know what I'm talking about. You complain, you belittle. You know, Dorothy, I think maybe you're being too hard on her. I know how difficult buying shoes can be. Sometimes you get yourself a really good-looking salesman and you try... That's my line. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to order this Borny. Rose, will you hang that up? Times 500,000... Stan! You're rich! Oh! Please, oh please, please. Congratulations! Please. Congratulations! I know I called you a yutz in the past, but what I didn't tell you is that in... But I warn you, I did time in Attica. <laughs> Attica's a men's prison? I know. I was there a year before they found out. <laughs> Sorry, Chief. I didn't mean to ruffle your feathers. Oh, oh Dorothy, that was magnificent. The hospital. You mean I'm alive? Very much so. Then what am I doing in here? That's what I was asking. Tell you what, ma'am. I'll call patient care. They'll send somebody. Well, this is our floor. Good luck. By the way, I'll be thinking of you. Guys like you make it safe for old ladies like me to walk the street. Of course, Rose. You know, like windshield wipers. <laughs> so they work? I assume so, yes. Dorothy, are you all right? Oh, she's a trooper. She'll be fine, won't you, Dorothy? Not until I taste his blood. Now, you don't mean that. Listen, I want you just to take a deep breath and think pleasant thoughts. Come on now. One, two, three. Blanche, I have looked all over the house. Uh, I cannot find your earrings. But I found the Julio Iglesias tickets. <laughs> Boy, we had great seats. Blanche, I feel just awful about this. Oh, just forget about it, Rose. I never intended... Make that two hours. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ma. Actually, we never got to the party at all. Be a decent, honest person. You think maybe you could just love me for that? I already do. Then you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. But I'll tell you, if you ever pull it... Maybe, subconsciously, you were trying to block my marriage because you like me living here. Okay. And Sophia, maybe you wanted to tell me about Miles and Dorothy kissing because you're just a mean old woman like the paper boy said. Nightmares, you know, monsters in the closet and he'd always let me sleep in your room. You remember, Ma? And I remember how you and Pop would get me to stop crying. You'd put your arms around me and kiss me and say, as long as you're in my arms, everything's going to be okay. Uh, but wasn't it great making fun of those who did? <laughs> it sure was. But come on, Ma. The truth is, we have done our share of fighting. Of course we fight. We're Italian. We like to fight. It's our way of showing love. Though, I don't know if there was a lot of love that time that we... Hi, Ma. Give me your watch. A minute. There is no Mr. Ferguson in this room. Isn't this room 203? 303. <laughs> oh, boy, what a day. <laughs> Since I'm here, do you need the last rites? Oh, no, thank you. Have you had your operation yet? No, tomorrow morning. Well, good luck. I'm sure everything... A Picasso with mozzarella, a Rembrandt with tomato sauce. I thought it needed more salt. And garlic. It's a little flat. <laughs> oh, wow! Look at this! Boy, the place is really coming along. Oh, boy, I'll say it is. I have 
to give you two credit. Oh, it looks like... But as long as he doesn't give me a dirty look when I order lobster, I don't care. Blanche! Oh, all right, all right. Maybe he's not perfect, but I happen to be in a little dating slump right now, and I'm just happier having a man who isn't perfect than looking around for one who is. That's what Bush told everyone when he was choosing a vice president. Miss Sophia Petrillo. Yeah! I'm sorry, I'm looking for Rose Nyland. I'm an old friend. Fr 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 oh, Rose! <laughs> it's me, Thor! Thor? <laughs> Thor Anderson! I can't believe it! Oh, everybody, this is this is Thor Anderson. Hi. Hi, everybody. And if you are indeed my friends, you will forget about it too. And never bring the sordid subject up again. I know I'm gonna give her a party! <laughs> You know, I actually feel sorry for Blanche. Don't you, Ma? Who's Ma? Merci beaucoup, mes amis. Uh, oh, my, that was impressive. <laughs> Jane Goodall once taught an ape to rumba. That's impressive. <laughs> now, I would like to propose a toast to David, who in the past week, has proven that he is one damn good kid. Here, here. I am a woman in my 50s. I mean, common sense says that I have gotten flowers before. So, Dorothy, tell me, are those flowers from men? Are they, huh? Are they? Uh, it doesn't matter where they come from. It's not important that some men find your daughter attractive and send her gifts as a token of their affection. What is important is that you... Dorothy, do we know anybody named Cecilia? Your cousin, Ma. She only has weeks to live. Oh. Next time I'll accept the charges. <laughs> These are the after pictures of satisfied customers. I was thinking about having my breasts done like hers. All right, Blanche, but do you think black really suits you? <laughs> Sweetheart, Dorothy, have you ever heard of something called dirty dancing? Well, of course, Blanche. Like, it just tortures me to know that there's one man out there, one on the face of God's green earth that I cannot have. <laughs> Especially if he's fat and bald. <laughs> Blanche, forget about it. I can't forget about it. There's only one thing for me to do. I... Have I played what? <laughs> All right, Rose, have you finished writing my campaign speech? Check. Sent out the invitations for the party? Check. Made my appointment to meet with the refreshment committee? Check. Good. Nothing. Dorothy, you're a sick, suspicious, paranoid person. <laughs> Stan, my favorite ex-son-in-law. <laughs> God, Stanley, what the hell are you doing here? Don't you dare talk to him like that. I invited him for dinner. What? I love your toupee, Stanley. Is it new? Yeah, Stan. About what you said. Hey, Dorothy, uh, I was kidding. It was a joke. That's what I figured. Wait, well, you didn't think a minute, did you? Oh, no. Sid, crunching his chips. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Wrong way, driver, hit him head on. Totally dead, ma'am, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Oh, no. Puts me on hold and then eats Doritos while he tells me my life is over. <laughs> oh, Rose has to tell her. Rose won't eat. Cast out at the world of wool. <laughs> oh, girls, for the first time in my life, my body feels old. I feel like I can't do the same things I used to. Rubber woman couldn't do the same things you used to. <laughs> Honey, it's only natural. <laughs> no fear. I had to talk to her the last time. Uh, Blanche, not to doubt your stamina, but uh, don't you think those men are going to be bored? Oh, of course not. 
Dorothy, tonight's a full moon. A night when men's passions, like the tides, are pulled to their high... Oh. The Lord! <laughs> Ma, what is going on here? Afterglow. <laughs> was coming here in the first place. Dorothy, I thought you went to bed. Can't sleep. I just lie awake thinking about Michael and Lorraine. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Blanche, how much longer do I have to have this hot towel on my face? Now, just be patient, Rose. When I tell you to remove this towel, you are going to see what a dramatic difference. I, Rose, but I ask a man 20 questions. You can bet your life one of them's going to be, are you married? <laughs> I can't believe it. Haven't you done anything? Of course I have. Do you see this big stack right here? Well, just behind it is what I have done. <laughs> it's only one survey, but I'm very proud of it. And you're my big, crazy, bald skull. <laughs> I may give you some reason to resent me, but you cannot shake me. I am loyal. Stanley, you wore a toupee for 27 years. Oh, can I see oh, no, it? No, no, darling, don't touch it. Oh, nobody must touch it. It is very rare. Only the five people on the committee get these each year. Oh, look. Have you ever seen a more moving piece of art? Only at Graceland. We think that Kate may be pregnant. Wow. That's incredible. That makes me... Uh, yeah, something's never changed. <laughs> You're gonna be a granddaddy, Stanley. <laughs> wow, isn't life a gas? This is amazing. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, but I did learn that baked Alaska can actually be cooked locally. <laughs> Rose, I have an even bigger scoop for you. Mars bars are made right here on Earth. <laughs> oh, girl. What did she say? Uh, she says she wants to thank you for your gracious welcome. Oh, my Italian must really be rusty. I could swear she asked if you were a street walker. Um, tell me, where, uh, where is Gina? Isn't she with... To make it up to you. Give me a hundred dollars. Make it fifty. <laughs> Done. I love you. This is why I didn't tell you about this in the first place. You are always criticizing me. You are always judging me. You are always telling me what to do. Well, this time I'm going to do what feels right for me, and there's nothing you can say that'll make me feel guilty about it. Boy, I wish I'd married Bing Crosby when I had the chance. <laughs> but they're ahead of us. But when we pulled up to Bubba's Chapel of Bliss, <laughs> and tackle shop. <laughs> there you were. Well, I was ready for the fight of my life, but all you said was... Oh, so you'll live to be a hundred? Fine, I'll wipe it off. Tomorrow, I'll be in a wheelchair. Good night, Pop. Good night. <laughs> Keep it up, I'll be the drama mean. <laughs> Dorothy, oh, I'm so glad you made up. I knew you couldn't stay mad for long. Oh, of course we couldn't. Oh, it takes a big woman to forgive somebody calling her a slut. <laughs> Fight over? Oh, good. I couldn't sleep. I was afraid I'd have that dream again. What are you two doing up? Well, I'm waiting up for Clayton. I want to make sure he had a good time tonight. My brother and I are very close. Oh, that's sweet, Blanche. 
Evening, ladies. Well, Clayton, huh? Come on, we'll make me dirt for breakfast. <laughs> because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Hi, <laughs> girls, how's it going? How was practice, Rose? The boys okay? No time to chat now. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Lunch. <laughs> You're meeting him again, aren't you? Who, uh, Dorothy? Who? Who else? Who? Thor Anderson was the boy who took me to the Valentine's dance my senior year. I asked Thor to take me just to make Charlie jealous. Oh, I feel awful. I used Thor. You say that like it's something bad. Blanche, this is serious. I mean, he thinks I cared for him and I... I want help. Help and new clothes. So, I'll go to a counselor, if you'll drive me. Drive you? Are you kidding? I'll listen to eight tracks with you. <laughs> of course, we'll have to use Rose's car. <laughs> no, but what... <laughs> now, if you ask me, we are doing fine. Starting out slow, you know, going in on that certificate of deposit together. I mean, it's the simplest form of investment. An idiot couldn't screw it up. By the way, Rose, uh, what was the rate today for the CD at the bank? I didn't go to the bank. I put on a few pounds. You just haven't noticed. Uh, what, am I blind? <laughs> I can see that. I meant the bread. You can afford the bread. It's only 89 cents a loaf. <laughs> Angela, why don't you sit down? I'll serve dessert. Gosh, you two made such a fantastic meal. I can't imagine what you came up with for dessert. I made dessert. You've never met. <laughs> but admit it, you have grown. <laughs> Uh, Rose, could you uh, introduce Blanche and me? Oh, of course. Uh, Dorothy, this is Blanche. Blanche, this is Dorothy. <laughs> you have jokes like that around here all the time. <laughs> it's like living in a house full of Howie Mac. As you might never have known you even had it. <laughs> Okay, here's the game plan. We... <laughs> it's so good to finally meet you, Blanche. Your father's told me so much about you. Oh, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> Margaret, please, sir, sit down. Maybe we ought to get her a booster seat. <laughs> uh, can I get you a drink? How about chocolate milk? She cannot stand to see anyone else happy. Calm down, Dorothy. I'll brew you some tea. I don't want any tea. Oh, but this is a special blend. It's very soothing. Rose, have you been drinking much of this? Only at night when I can't sleep. Honey, this is loaded with caffeine. But we need caffeine. <laughs> You can't come in here. This house has been quarantined. We all have a... Uh... Quick, Rose, give me a deadly disease. Oh, I'm sorry, Blanche. I don't have a deadly disease. <laughs> well, get one. Yeah. I, I felt when I was a virgin. <laughs> you mean the feeling isn't going to last long? Are you implying I lost my virginity at an early age? I'm just saying you're lucky Jack and Jill magazine didn't have a gossip cut. Certain humiliation. And why? Okay, thanks, Blanche. I get the point. No, I mean it, Dorothy. Why? <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hi. Honey, what's wrong? I just spent the afternoon with Al. Well, what happened? Nothing. Lately, all he wants to do is sit around the house and watch television. You know that... stuff I said about preparing for a burial, forget it. Oh, Ma, you finally came to your senses. Yes. <laughs> Seems authentic. I just can't get over it. Over what? San Juan Hill Rose. <laughs> over the fact that her father had an affair with her mammy. I don't know what to think. This changes everything I ever thought about Big Daddy. Say what? You have no coordination. Obviously, the stories about all your romantic escapades have been greatly exaggerated. 
Just what is that supposed to mean? Blanche, if you can't do a simple dance, how do you expect me to believe that story about you and the flying finale? Shut up. Get a life. Stop calling Rose. She doesn't want to talk to you, so leave her alone. Thank you. <laughs> is that what you wanted to say to me, Rose? Well, I'm sorry, but I suppose so. Excuse me, can I get your attention, please? I'd like to clear the air. Subject to the same diseases. Healed by the same means. Warmed and cooled by the same winter and summer as you are. If you prick us, do we not bleed? If you tickle us, do we not laugh? If you poison me... <laughs> Rose, the oddest thing just happened to me at the market. I saw that same young man who was here the other day looking for George. What was his name? David something or other? You, what's so odd about that? He was... <laughs> Rose, if you're really serious about going through with this, I suggest that you discuss it with Miles. I mean, he deserves to know the truth. I don't want to lie. Rose, you don't have to lie to Miles. Just don't tell him the truth. Turn this thing to your advantage. Now, if you hold Miles at... Tell you, tell you 60, but I think you can handle it now. <laughs> we lived in New York at the time, and there was the San Gennaro Festival every year. And your father, may he rest in peace until I get there, <laughs> got so turned on by the festivities one year, he couldn't wait till we got home. Oh, <laughs> You shot my boss. Hey, that. That's not his. He had Buddy Klein do it for him. This is a proxy? He doesn't mind doing it in his own bed, but there's something about doing it in a public place. Kind of like sex. Maybe where you come from. Doug, Doug, come here a minute. Listen, something very strange is going on here. Oh, would you get up and go somewhere else, please? Excuse us, please. Sit down here. Go, go somewhere. I don't understand this, but these men are acting crazy. You're telling me? I haven't been hit on like this since I stopped... Well, I've got to get back to the hotel. Uh, Blanche has consented to have lunch with me. Would you ladies care to join us? Oh, no, that's all right. You two probably have a great deal to talk over. Well, it's been a pleasure to meet you. I'll see y'all later. Hello. No, no, we don't have a car for sale. No, you must have the wrong number. Is it a man or a woman? No, it's a woman interested in a Mercedes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, the car's been sold. Oh. Uh -huh. Blanche, what is this all about? I have figured out the most wonderful way to meet men. What is his temperature, Blanche? I do not know, Dorothy. Even with perfect eyesight, nobody can read one of these things. Oh my God, it's 103.2. <laughs> the poor baby. Uh, uh, oh, we better oh. contact his pet. Do you think you can find out why I was left on this elevator? You were just left here? What's your name? Read it yourself. Right here on the bracelet. Zulu, queen of the dwarf people. <laughs> Petrillo's the name. Sophia Petrillo. Can you get... You're talking about that doesn't mean that he's going to be in our show. Don't you see, Dorothy? He's here in Miami because he knows I need him. Oh, this is all working out. I can feel it. <laughs> Dorothy? I think I might have a way to get Mr. Hope to be in our show after all. Why don't we go over there to that golf tournament? Find Mr. Hope and next... Hey, a nurse. At your age, we can't take any injury for granted. Well, it's your fault I sprained both my ankles. Ma, you were the one who sneezed and blew yourself off the stool. <laughs> it wouldn't have happened if you'd let me sit at the table that night. Look, Ma, you know the rules. When we eat Mexican food, you sit at the counter. Say... <laughs> 
what a privilege it has been for me to come here and work with a man whom I consider to be the greatest Hungarian sculptor of our time. Yes, and just let me say that if Blanche can name two other Hungarian sculptors of any time, I shall eat that statue. <laughs> well, what's it going to be, Laszlo? Who do you choose? Um, you know what I'm talking about. I didn't take the wrong bus. That dumbass driver went the wrong way, a different way, and you know it. What the hell's the matter with you? Alvin! Alvin! It'll help, Rose, of course we'll do oh, it. Oh, thank you. You are the best friends I've ever had. Now, before I lose the nerve, I better make the plane reservations. Did she say plane reservations? I thought her aunt lived in Fort Lauderdale. She did, big mouth, but she's being buried in the Bahamas where she spent her winters. Damn! Heck! <laughs> I know, baby, I know. Oh, Rose, this is terrible. You have been robbed of the most basic sense of security. You know, no matter what else is happening, at the very least, I know... Movement. Eine kleine Nachtmusik. <laughs> That's right. How did you know that? Well, they always play it during the chases on the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner show. <laughs> there, was, there was this one where... Appointment. She wanted to look her best for Charmaine's big day. Boy, Blanche is handling this a lot better than I would. I would kill Gloria if she ever wrote about my sexual escapades. <laughs> You'd kill your sister over a pamphlet? <laughs> I know. I miss him too. Blanche, are you okay? I stopped crying a couple of hours ago. I believe valuable thing. Hawk it. I can't. Twelve hundred. My final offer. No, uh, th this isn't for sale. I mean, there are some things that, that have no price. I. This means a lot to me. My husband gave it to me after 38 years of marriage. And after 38 years... I swear I feel like a failure. Honey, you can't change the world in one day. But just think about what we did do. I bet we saved a few dolphins by keeping that boat off the water. And the next time you're walking along the beach and you see a school swim by, why, you can think, maybe I saved those gorgeous creatures from those... Every time you say, ow, just because I once asked you to move a sofa. I guess I have no choice. I'm in agony. Did you hear that? Agony, Dorothy. <laughs> Sophia, don't worry. You made the right decision. I was going to give you this when you got to the hospital, but I'm too excited. Here's your St. Olaf fun pack. I <laughs> think... Don't worry, we'll all be at that charity dinner. This is just an allergy. Believe me, if I were coming down with something, I'd know it, and I wouldn't risk getting the rest of you sick. Oh, you don't have to worry about me, honey. I never get sick. I take very good care of myself. I treat my body like a temple. Yeah, opens every... I mean, who doesn't have a date. Rose... I need to borrow a silk scarf tonight. You have a date? No, I'm doing the dance of the seven veils and I'm one short. <laughs> Sometimes I worry about her. <laughs> there. He's not picking you up? What kind of guy doesn't pick up his date? Oh, no, we just decided to meet at L'Auberge. It's no big deal. Oh, wait just a minute. This whole thing is a trick, isn't it? You're just trying to make us think you're going out with Dr. Kagan. I am not lying. You're just jealous about the fact that I have a date on a Saturday night. And that's when Shady Pines burned down and you came here to live with us. Oh, yeah. I'm not wearing underpants. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Petrillo, were you acquainted with the late Maria Hartgrove? She died? Good riddance. God rest her soul. <laughs> We have a deathbed confession from her stating that the two of you stopped. Why, Chicago burned down. Mrs. O'Leary was probably a tramp, too. <laughs> Give me you... that. Um, look, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. There's been a mistake. There is no fire here. That's right, this isn't Blanche, so that remark about the fire hose was totally wasted. 
right. And good at math. I'm so glad you got your own Disneyland. Uh, oh, ah, uh, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Dorothy? Dorothy? Mr. Yamamoto just called about a teaching job. Oh. <laughs> Does that mean you don't think I'm smart enough for the job? Well, no, I think you're smart enough. You just have no taste. <laughs> okay, girls, which goes better, the silver chain or the pearls? The chain. An amateur's mistake. Can't you see that the chain... To let it go. All right. All right, all right, Ma, I'll do it. You've made me a happy woman. Now, if you want to go the extra mile... I hear one of the judges has a fetish. Oh. That... <laughs> Dorothy's going to be in the mother-daughter beauty pack. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Does Rose know? No. Oh, good. I don't think you ought to tell her. After all, she's not as worldly and sophisticated about these things as I am. <laughs> Absolutely. If she finds out Danny Thomas is a lesbian, it'll break off. to save it, but what the heck. <laughs> I'm singing at the Sagebrush Club tomorrow night. You doing what? <laughs> I'm singing. That's my surprise. And I want you and your friends... You are. <laughs> That's a joke. You see, Blanche didn't mention that you were twins. Oh, well, I never met Bob until tonight. Blanche, I told you we were exactly alike. Dorothy, you're going to be thanking me for years to come. <laughs> so there's this cognitive dissonance between her actual and her ideal self, which causes her to be practically dysfunctional. <laughs> but of course, I'm no psychologist. No, you're a nitwit. <laughs> How come you know those words? Blanche, come on, it's not nice calling her a nitwit, but since the cat's out of the bag... to Blanche. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Good morning, girls. Good morning, Blanche. Rose opened your letter. <laughs> Blanche, I didn't. Oh, it's no problem, honey. It's just another one of those letters from Merrill. I would read it to you anyway. They're not personal. Not personal? <laughs> Always had this trouble ever since high school. Yeah. I was the head cheerleader, and I was dating our star quarterback, Caldwell Honeycutt. Well, time came to break up, and I just could not tell Caldwell to his face. I couldn't bear to inflict that much grief and suffering on one man. So I finally decided that the... Can't use it. Moving on. Well, if you think of anything else, please give me a call. I have to be at the courthouse at a quarter to three. There's no one in the place except you and me. That's what we were singing that night. We were having a couple of night quill shooters and singing. Let's go home. Okay, girls. Let's go. Good. Blanche. Dolly, I just can't take my eyes off that man's body. <laughs> I want to see Moa. He is covered with oil, wearing a loin. Rehearsal. It's such a nice day. I think I'll walk. Like that? No, I'll probably take longer strides when I get to the sidewalk. But <laughs> I meant I meant her costume. I mean, people are gonna think she's nuts. You think she's nuts anyway? This will confirm it. <laughs> Jealous of me. Jealous. J E A. All right, all right. Besides, Ma, all that studying paid off. Oh yeah, paid off. You got knocked up in high school. <laughs> Ma, I am 60 years old. Why do you have to bring this up every day of my life? So it won't happen. Where are they, Rose? Hiding in the shower? She means a lot of people have probably croaked in here. I know what she means, Ma. I just don't need to hear it the night before surgery. Come on, don't be such a baby. 
I had my appendix out in the hospital in Sicily. That was rough. That uh, my mother might have given you the wrong idea about what kind of man my brother Phil was. Not to worry. The good Lord has given me a sixth sense, so to speak. I can tell a lot about a person just by looking at them. He was special. I'm sure. What do you want to do instead? I know. Let's rent an adult video, drink mimosas, and French kiss the pillows. I don't think so, Blanche. Fine, I'm out of ideas. You think of something. How about if we rearrange the furniture in the living room? Did you know that I would be going to them? That's the way it'll work in the future, when my video camera gets back from the shop. <laughs> So tell me, what type of work is it that you need done, Mr. Um, Toto? Mr. Toto. Oh, no, Mr. Just Toto. You're Dorothy, and I'm Toto. <laughs> Mr., it's weird. We can't do anything without her. I haven't been alone with him yet. You know how hard it is to make out with a guy when his sister's sitting next to you? Boy, Boy do, do I, I ever. ever. Now, you stop that. You just stop that. <laughs> Listen, Ma, I have an idea. Why don't I go and pick up Marvin, bring him here, and that way the two of you can be alone. And, and I'm Blanche. Uh, can I interest you in some arts and crafts? This really bites. Norman, what would you like to do? Well, I like army men. Oh, there was a colonel here on Tuesday, but he had to go back to the base. <laughs> I think he means those little guys with the helmets. Oh, I, How you feel? Oh, you gave us quite a scare. Oh, doctor, is she going to be all right? She'll be fine. It was just an esophageal spasm. A what? A constriction of the food pipe. It can be very painful and frightening, but it's not at all serious. Oh, thank God. She just needs to take it easy for a few days, and she'll be as good as new. Rose, I want you to relax here for a few more minutes. Enormous lips. <laughs> Anyway, Ma told me that once I started shaving, I'd never be able to stop. I mean, she said I'd regret it for the rest of my life because my legs would have bristles. I was right. By the time you were 16, I could grate cheese on your knees. I understand, Lucy. Would you mind if I gave you a call sometime? Oh, sure. I guess I'd be okay. Not you, Lucy. I was talking to Rose. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think so. Are you sure? Tuesday night, I'm getting together with a couple of buddies. We're going through Don Johnson's trash. And I wanted to take a little bit back with me. It's not what Ma wants. You think she wants to stay? I know she wants to stay. I'm going to go talk to her. Are you all right? Oh, sure. <laughs> Got all I need. Me too, Sophia, because you I know said we quiet. Have... <laughs> Girls, you will never believe what happened to me at the supermarket yesterday. Um, you were in a real hurry and you needed to go through the express line, but you had 25 items. So you went to me. She's right. You know what you do for a bad neck? You get into bed and lie perfectly still and wait until it's over. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not a bad neck, that's bad sex. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Michael, Michael, I can't believe it. Oh, honey. Another room and cry like a baby. Get, go, move. It. <laughs> she owns us. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Blanche, I really want to thank you again for these ray blockers. I didn't think I'd get used to everything being pink, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> Empty, lonely, solar heated water bed. <laughs> No need to say a word, I understand. Here you go, honey. Uh, Dorothy, wait. Chrissy, there is nothing to discuss. Oh, but stick man. <laughs> I mean, the girl flew all the way from TV. We're using the household money to repair the roof and repave the driveway. Great. And what am I supposed to do while every other old lady on the block is watching Cosby? Well, you can sit in the new driveway and hope that an amusing black family drops by. <laughs> We could sell our old TV and you've got the man's covering half the pictures on our wall. I don't blame you for looking surprised, Blanche. There's a little more of me than there used to be. 
Well, maybe a little here, a little there. I am. I'm Dorothy. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, this is my mother, Sophia. That's Rose. Hello. Dorothy, he's a television celebrity. Besides, I talked to him for over an hour. There weren't too many people in line for his autograph. Uh, Mr. Whipple Lookalike was next door demonstrating the new three-ply toilet tissue. <laughs> oh, I better get ready. He's picking me up at seven. <laughs> Can you imagine making a date with a guy? Renee calls up and says she's got herself an agent. Oh, nice. It's not nice, Oliver. She's been in New York six days. Now she's got an agent who says she's perfect for commercials. And who knows what the hell she's going to do. Wouldn't it be funny? I'd be perfect for this job. You see, I am the battered consumer. I drive a gremlin, for God's sake. <laughs> i tell you what I'll do. Will you accept the test? You bet. One of the most important parts of this job... The real reason I wanted to marry him was because his oldest daughter was a rival of mine at cheerleading. And I figured if I married Deck, I'd be her mama. <laughs> I could kick her off the squad. <laughs> anyway, I remember the next day I was in the rec hall when Deck came in. Look... <laughs> Pussycat. I've been working on some jokes for your act. Why did Rose throw the alarm clock out of the window? I don't know, Ma, why? Because she's a moron. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Blanche. You've been coming here seven years. The only thing I've ever seen you do on that piano. Hey, 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 hey there's a lady present. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody, may I have your attention, please? Two can play at this game, you know. Boys. I have a little surprise for you. Yeah. Happy. You're the one that's not happy, Mama. You're doing it again. You'll tell me how to live my life. What do you mean? Nothing's ever enough for you. It wasn't enough that I was pretty. I had to be the prettiest. Or that I was popular. I had to be the most popular. Or that I was bright. I had to be the brightest. Well, that didn't mean you had to run out and become the fattest. <laughs> but it does make it a lot more complicated. So, Frank, you cannot go through with this. Dorothy. No, no, no. It's a mistake that we would both regret for the rest of our lives. No matter how strongly you feel, Frank, I cannot let you leave the priesthood for me. What? <laughs> Rose, not that I care, but since you've already gone to so much trouble, just how did having plastic surgery ruin Olga's life? Oh, it didn't ruin her life. It almost ruined St. Olaf. The lowest you're going to see. Are you kidding? This is the highest I have seen. Look. $3,000? Hey, ladies, hire whoever you like, but I'm an expert. I can take a toilet apart blindfolded. Now, there's a dying art. What's your point? <laughs> the point is, a lot of things can go wrong. Wood rot, loose plaster, cracked pipe. Hey, he's afraid there won't be a tomorrow. This may not be a good time, but has anyone seen a large jewel-encrusted ring that's steeped in history just lying around lately? <laughs> Trouble, mister. I got a better case than Valerie Harper. Excuse me, ladies. Pardon me. Is, is there a problem here? Only if you consider a class-action suit and a boycott by OREP a problem. I thought it was no problem. This is too big for Nopro. This is all the way up to OREP. OREP? Organization of Retired and Elderly People. Do you huh? like some coffee? Sure. Yeah. How about some Danish? It's almost breakfast. Hey! You want some eggs? Sure. Yeah. Do we have any bacon? Yeah, we got bacon. Right. Scramble right. me a couple, but scramble some. Scramble some. Bacon. Five pieces. Oh, oh, five 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 You're a wonderful woman, Blanche. <laughs> no offense. Incredible blue eyes I had ever seen. Those are the things you inherited from her. And when I looked into those eyes, they told me it was not time to go off chasing rainbows. It was time to, to make a life for the two of us. And I never regretted that decision, because I knew that someday... We... You're seeing Glenn? I don't want to hear about well, it. Well, I don't want to talk about it. Good night. Good night.
What are you doing up so late? I was hungry. I was making myself a sandwich. Do you want one? No, thanks. We went out to dinner. Oh, that? The first really wonderful guy I've met in a long time, and he turns out to have a more serious involvement. With whom? Pam Dauber. <laughs> the church. Or at least he did until he met me. You know, you take the religious aspect out of this, and it's really quite romantic. A man giving up everything for the woman he loves. Kind of like the sum of my fear, honey, but I just haven't. And, and, and performing is a nightmare for me. Hey, we've all got our sad stories. <laughs> Look, Blanche, we've practiced for six weeks. We paid for our costumes. We told everybody we'd be there. Now you're not going to wimp out on me. You're going to go to that recital. What did you expect to happen? I don't know. I, I just kept seeing those cartoon characters with the smoke coming out of their ears. <laughs> I don't see anything. Listen, there's a great big old television set back in my bedroom. What do you say we go in there and turn it off? Long it. Hi, it was real. <laughs> Dorothy, it's Stan. Didn't you recognize me? Of course I recognized you. That's why I slammed the door in your face. <laughs> Still the Terrible misunderstanding. Yeah, Rose, we just found out today that everybody thinks the letter you sent to Gorbachev was written by a nine-year-old girl. You can't be serious. Oh, the troop is back. Which one is little Rose? This one. It's a doornail. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Coffee? <laughs> you be so cheery? It's a terrible thing. Come on, she was 89 and she died in her sleep. She fell asleep driving the bookmobile. <laughs> God, oh, we were so worried. Had a very mild cardiac episode, no permanent damage, and you can see her just as soon as we get her moved into a room. Oh, did you hear that? Rose is fine. My prayer was answered. Who knows? Maybe that's what did it. I know I was doing some praying. A little monster's gonna be here in a minute. Oh. Hi, I'm Bob Henderson. This is my son, Norman. Well, hi, Norman. My name is Rose. You ready to have some fun? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, here's a list of Norman. Deserve to know why? Okay. Okay, you want to know so bad? I'll tell you right now. Picture it. New York City, Christmas, 1955. It's Francesca Ragusso's annual Christmas bash. Everybody is there, eating, drinking, guzzling the... <coughs> <coughs> well, Doc, uh, before you get started, I just want to say that I love this woman. And although she's angry, I believe she still loves me. So please, please, Dr. Halpern, help the two of us put this crazy marriage back together. Put the marriage back together. You told me we were coming here. Dorothy, get dressed. We're going out to celebrate Clayton's last night in town. Oh, terrific. Let's go to Jose's. We always go there to celebrate. The food is great. Yeah, and they make all the waiters wear these really skin-tight bullfighters pants. Really? Rose, I was just thinking about you. Really? Yeah, my hand was throbbing. I brought you a Vans Cap Kaka. It's a traditional St. Olaf friendship cake. Rose, I don't want any gifts from you. I mean, I really don't want to have anything to do with you. Is, is there someone else? No. <laughs> no, there's no one else. Good. Um, you, you know what's interesting? I, um... I just read somewhere that uh, the cells in the human body uh, completely regenerate themselves every uh, seven years. You refuse to see your daughter as an adult with the right to make her own decisions. Honey, you're going to have to learn to let go. Yes, and the more you try to make her see things the way you see things, the more she'll resist. And then you run the risk of never seeing her again. And never seeing your grandchild. Never. <laughs> A geek is more like, you know, somebody with no friends, stays home every Saturday night, knows always buried in a book. One word out of you and I cut off your supply of Metamucil. <laughs> so 
Look, Kevin, the reason you're in this trouble... But Dorothy, you're the one who's been talking about aging with dignity. Not for me, for her. I mean, look at her. The woman is hundreds of years old. She should be carbon dated. But Dorothy, if the doctor look, said... Look, I really... But, uh, nuclear bomb the day after... Years old, and this is the kind of thing that's on her mind. That's unbelievable. Well, she wasn't the only one. Three other girls did pictures just like it. I don't understand it. Oh, honey, it's not so uncommon. I mean, kids hear about nuclear war on TV. They read it in the papers. It's part of their lives. I and mean, they can't help but... Oh. Uh. <laughs> Sophia, I came to get you. Forget it. You kissed this pleasure palace goodbye when you stole that money. Come on, get ready. You're going with me. I've got a brand new Harley Davidson out in the driveway. I didn't know you could ride a motorcycle. I can't. I pushed it off. Watch short, wrinkly, and sticks out of my shoes. You. No, my toes. It's that time of year. Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Well, you've crapped out. I am not taking you. Dorothy, please. The little piggy that goes wee, wee, wee doesn't have a nail on it anymore. <laughs> No way. But Dorothy... How would you like your rear end kicked across the street? Oh, great. Here's the other four dollars. <laughs> Girls. Girls, there is a busload of Greek sailors out front. <laughs> they won't know how many drachma there are in eight dollars. Comfortable with the people? I'm not comfortable with the whole thing. But you need the group support, oh. Dorothy. I mean, it's not a good idea to go it alone. Did I ever tell you about my cousin, Vigdor Fricken? <laughs> he tried to go it alone in a three-legged race. Well, you know what happened oh, to please, him? Please, please, Rose, I don't want to hear... ...say that there were two things a lady could never have enough of. Lace handkerchiefs and gentlemen callers. <laughs> Maybe next Mother's Day I'll bring you a gentleman caller. <laughs> You want to go in the dining room, have some tea? Not right now, darling. Yes. Hey, come on down here. Let me buy you a drink. Hey, no, 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 no. Sure. I want to buy her a drink. Hey, I asked her oh, first. Come on, hey, come, come on. on, boys, boys, boys. I am woman enough for all of you. <laughs> this is the point in my dream where I usually wake up screaming. What are you doing here anyway, darling? Well, I tell. I couldn't buy your car. Oh, it's not my type. I want a car that says. Practical. Your car says available. <laughs> well, just take off my personalized plates. Rose, I tell you what, take the car for two weeks. Oh. Yeah, just try it out. Tonight at seven. Tonight at seven, Milton. Good afternoon. I thought he belonged to the other one. Well, I'm sure Rose won't mind one bit. He's a man. It's not like sharing a yogurt. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi, Dorothy. Honey, did Barry call? Not that I know of. Oh, we're supposed to go out again. Oh, sounds like lunch went well. Oh. You dyed your hair? <laughs> Rose, my hair is gray. It's been gray since we met. Boy, that is gradual. <laughs> oh, darling, I'm just glad you're okay. I have had the worst day and a half, and it's all because of that dumb detective. Hey, now why didn't you tell us what was going on? Because you can't help me find a job. Because nobody or nothing can make me young again. Oh, all right, Rose. So your life isn't the same as it used to be. The rules have changed, but it's happened before, hasn't it? I mean, what did you do after Charlie died? <laughs> Hi. You really like Tony a lot, don't you, Sophia? Why shouldn't I? He's the best catch in town. He's got his own hair, his own teeth, and a totally unrestricted driver's license. <laughs> hey, at my age, that's like dating Tom Cruise. Hello? These are my roommates, Blanche, Rose. Please, sit down. Oh, thank you. Well, why don't you begin by telling us a little about yourself? Well, there isn't much to tell. I'm hardworking and honest, and I'll work for a reasonable wage. That's it? All right, I won't go on. You were asleep. You never know.
You girls shouldn't sit out here in the sun. <laughs> Blanche, we've been so worried about you. I know. Oh, I'm so glad you're out. I'm sorry if I worried you. Oh, uh, sweetheart, how are you? I'm okay. I'd like to pay more. <laughs> so, $9,000. Uh, come on, let's go call Ma. Uh, <laughs> Ma, we got it. We own a DeKimmo. Oh, Even though he was a terrible man, I feel guilty. Find out where we can send flowers. Send flowers to yourself. The yutz is gonna make it. Go, I'm tired of arguing with you. Sophia! Is that a Captain Jack seafood shanty uniform you're wearing? No, Rose. I'm off to discover the Straits of Magellan. Yo-ho! <laughs> well, it's not easy, you know. I have my job and I have responsibilities. I've never been invited. Well, I'm inviting you now. I have a huge house with servants and an ocean view. And Bert Convy shops in my grocery store. Bert Convy? Welcome to show business. <laughs> what? Goodbye. Hi, Sophia. Later. <laughs> Hi, girls. Oh, love meeting your director friend yesterday. First house. Oh. Well, scoff if you must, but it was warm and toasty. <laughs> I'll never forget Charlie throwing me over his shoulder and dashing across the threshold. Oh, it was a beautiful place. Three bedrooms, two baths. Then two bedrooms and one bath. If I still had my dog Fluffy, I'd give to him. You'd give what to Fluffy? My kidney. Oh, come on, Rose. You'd give a kidney to a dog. Absolutely. So he could whiz on your rug? <laughs> I would give to him because of everything he gave to me. Call the coach. The number's by the phone. Fine. Is there anything I can do? Call the hospital and the coach. You got that, Rose? Oh, hurry. Here comes another one. Oh, oh. Oh, yikes! Hey, what do you do for a living? Crack walnuts? What's going on? Oh, so hey. For needy, sexy people. I just heard on TV the airports are closed. There's a big hurricane headed this way. They want everyone to stay just where they are. That means that we could be trapped together for days. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, honey. oh, I'm so sorry. What happened? She was fighting an oil rig fire in the Gulf of Mexico. She was 88. <laughs> well, it's great that she was able to work right up to the end. <laughs> Make a pact that we'll always take care of each other, that we'll <laughs> never desert each other no matter what. You can count on me, But honey. you think it's gonna be that easy getting rid of me, Rose? <laughs> that was rhetorical, Rose. <laughs> oh, but what a comforting thought, knowing you'll never be alone. And listen, what the... That you're leaving. Well, Warden, I could make a break for it, but I'm afraid you'd shoot me going over the wall. <laughs> Sophia, couldn't you just visit, Phil? You don't have to move in permanently. And besides, honey, you're not going to be comfortable there. They live in a trailer. You won't have any privacy. I bet you don't even get your own bedroom. Please, we all have our own rooms here, and I still don't... I, but it's a dream come true. I don't understand. You should have that printed on a T-shirt. <laughs> We're opening the old business again. A million-dollar idea deserves a second chance. Ma, come on. You're both over 80. Starting a business is hard work. Yeah, for amateurs, but we've already done... Living in a slum. Now I'll never get a woman to come over to my place. Not with these bugs. <laughs> okay, and this body. <laughs> but mainly the bugs. Angelo, take me to your apartment. Wait, that I realize my top accomplishments aren't worth a damn. Oh, come on. Now, Rose, you're forgetting how much you give to people. How about all that work down at the counseling center? That's right. Well, honey, you must have hundreds of people every year. All I do is talk to them. Big deal. Well, it is a big deal. Do you know how much a kind and loving... Laundry thousands of times. Oh, by the way, we're out of... Bleak. <laughs> 
don't you drop these? Oh, thanks. Men's underwear? Getting a little misty, are you, pussycat? I don't believe it. Blanche, da Well, Rose, you want to go see a movie tonight? Well, actually, I'm expecting an old boyfriend from high school. His name's Buzz Mueller, and I haven't seen him in 40 years. But if this really bothers you... Oh, no, no. I, I totally understand. Well, it's too bad I was going to take you to see Henry V. What? Are you miserable? Oh, would you two knock it off? It's time for another world. You can't watch another world. And why not? Because you watched it yesterday. That's exactly why I have to watch it today, Dorothy, to find out what happens. That's why they always say stay tuned for the continuing story of another world. <laughs> too, too bad, Black. Through the air, the freedom of it. The whole idea of plummeting toward a pasture and watching a cow get bigger and bigger. <laughs> this is something we should do together before we die. Rose. Couldn't I just run towards you yelling, moo? I'm responsible for all the decisions I made in my life, and if my life didn't turn out perfectly, well, whose has? Marianne Mobley comes to mind. I mean, she gets to sleep with Gary Collins every night. Every night. <laughs> no, what I'm trying to say is we all make the best decisions we can make. A lousy dollar? That's the one. Yeah! <laughs> I've been trying to get us on that show for six months. Oh, Grab oh, That Dough oh, is my favorite oh, game show. Oh, mine too. And I think Guy Corman is the cutest host on TV. Uh, He's like Gene Rayburn, Chuck Woolery, and Bob Eubanks all rolling yeah, in one. That's a Tomorrow I'll stand in front of the entire town and be crowned St. Olaf, Woman of the Year. Are you Rose Nyland? Yes. Oh, it's an honor to drive the woman that beat out Emma Immerhofer for St. Olaf, Woman of the Year. <laughs> I beat Emma? Yeah, we thought she'd be a shoe-in, running a... Francis Farm, I know what I saw. There's a party out there. <laughs> Blanche, I guess we made a mistake. Honey, look, we'll cancel the party. We'll send everybody home and forget that the whole thing ever happened. Yo, everybody, the party is off. They want us out. But you're all welcome to come back to my place. If someone can tell me where it is. I need a new menu. Mine seems to be full of mistakes. For example, it says a small glass of tomato juice is six dollars. <laughs> I see. Oh, room service, I'll have to call you back. How dare you? How dare you? What kind of a woman do you think uh, I am? Come on, relax. Relax? Don't you tell me to relax. <laughs> I am not accustomed to being manhandled. I thought you'd be flattered. Well, I'm not. Pardon my strong language, but you, sir, are no gentleman. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I don't know. Honey, I don't understand. If you and the kids hit it off, then what's the problem? Well, I hardly ever see Richard. Today was the third time this week he's had a last-minute meeting, and I had to spend the day with the kids. Hmm. He's a busy man. Too busy. Even little Richard came up to me and said, Now, don't worry, this happens all the time. Let's kill her. <laughs> well, look on the bright side, it could be good. I was looking on the bright side. <laughs> What a day. Why, what's the matter? Where's Magda? You mean Flora? Yes. I'll bet. I remember our one date when I told you I didn't like girls, and you told everyone. Everyone. Well, guess what? I still don't like girls, and I don't like you. Ted? Ted! Oh, who cares? So I guess the most... In I'm getting nervous, and I've realized I want to be near my mother. <laughs> oh, I think it's great that you want to have your baby here. Well, in St. Olaf, the mother was always with the daughter when she gave birth. And if the mother was out of town, then the mother of the father was there. And if she was out of town, then we'd call Lucky Gunther. <laughs> so the, the reason you want to use our cars is so you can deliver pizzas? Oh, actually, what I would really like for you girls to do is be my drivers. I belong to the front office, supervising, franchising, teasing the high school girls that work for me. I sense I may have just lost you. Oh, what the... Does anyone around here ever go to bed? I can't sleep, Ma. I can't work, I can't eat. All I can do is think about how I'm going to raise the rest of that 
$2,500. Bucks. I wish I had it, pussycat. Oh, I know, Ma. If you had it, you'd give it to me. Don't put words in my mouth. I said, I wish I had it. And they were nice enough to give me a ride home. Oh, oh by the way, Chuck says yo. <laughs> Chuck from Arco or Chuck from Shale? Shell. Big Chuck from Shell or little Chuck from Shell? Blanche, I think you're spending too much time at the full service island. I think he was French or something. He was always sneering and he wore a beret. We were never allowed to wear berets when I was in high school. It was against the St. Olaf dress code. They did let me wear a paper cap a lot. It was long and pointy. Those are very nice cantaloupes. Why, well, thank you. Um, it was your work, but it won't happen again, I promise. No, it won't. Goodbye, Mr. Gordon. <laughs> Malcolm. Sorry. So am I. Oh, hi. Can I make you all some lunch? Sure. What are you fixing? Fruit salad. That sounds good. I'll go get Sophia. Oh, no. Don't bother. She said she has no appetite since she was stabbed in the back. Oh, my God. Who stabbed Sophia? <laughs> the chef at Benny Hanna. <laughs> Angela. Oh, good, Rose, here you are. Honey, listen, I have been giving it some serious thought, and I have finally come up with a perfect solution for your very sensitive problem with Miles. What? Cheat on him. <laughs> I can't... Uh, why are you sitting here in the dark? Why not? I've seen the living room before. <laughs> look, look, I've got to get some rest. Tomorrow I am seeing Barry Glick for the first time in 35 years. If I don't get at least six hours sleep, I look like Buddy Epson. <laughs> oh, now that you mentioned... Shut up, Lou. ...opened up to me this way and poured out such crap. <laughs> Didn't buy any of it, huh? Not true. I believe you're scared. You know, you've just discovered something most of us have known for years. That life doesn't always turn out exactly the way you like. We will! Fine! Fine! Oh, that jerk! Trying to intimidate us. Just who does he think he is? Oh, yeah. What is it, mouth? Oh. Back home, most people start off with, how do? What about what you said last night? If you had let me finish my thought, Colonel Gaddafi, <laughs> you might have understood. I said I thought this kind of relationship was wrong for you. Well, it's not. Dorothy, I'm your mother. I know you. You're a loving and sensitive person. But this isn't going to be enough someday. You'll be... And then when he asks you who does good body work, you give him your phone number. <laughs> and this really works? Well, not this time. I had this really cute guy in a jag lined up when this dork in a duster cut in front of me. <laughs> and I nicked him in Stay Parade! Here is your parade leader's hat. <laughs> Mr. Music, if you please. <laughs> She just can't. She's a grown woman, Rose. She can do anything she wants. But why is she leaving? Isn't she happy well, here? I guess she thinks she'll be happier with Gloria. Well, what about us? I mean, who's going to keep after us and make us linguine and, and tell us stories about Sicily? I don't know, Rose. Maybe Mary Poppins has an Italian cousin. Yes, Oh. Is anybody else hungry? <laughs> now that you mention it, I could really go for a pizza. I've been thinking about Chinese. I could go for a burger and fries. Why don't we order it all? Oh, Sophia, that'd be crazy. So this would be the first time we did something a little out of the ordinary around here? Not a dime. Yes! <laughs> Well, 
Well, this is it. My last session with Stan and the psychiatrist. How do I look? Oh, fine. Why? It's so hard to dress for a psychiatrist. My daughter in New York, she had one of those walk-up apartments, five flights up. Oh, it got harder and harder each year to climb those stairs. And finally, one year, I couldn't make it without stopping. Oh, it depressed me for weeks. Oh, my God. Is that what I have to look forward to 15 years from now? <laughs> uh, see, Marvin, how do you like it? Not a pretty picture, is it? <laughs> Marvin, what the hell is going on here? Isn't it obvious? They put an ad in the magazine to lure an unsuspecting cutie like me into their web of sex games. <laughs> they want me to be their love slave. <laughs> Andrew Cos, please, somebody stop the bleeding. <laughs> Pussycat, leave a few scraps for the other two nudniks. You never know when I might need a good neurosurgeon. <laughs> These people are not nudniks. They are brilliant, accomplished scientists. And I'm wiping the floor with them. Girls, look. How do I look? Oh, great, Blanche. Great? Uh, or gorgeous? Gorgeous. Well, what about sexy? Yes. Enticing? I'll handle this. Blanche, no woman ever looked better than you look right now, and no one ever will. <laughs> What'd you tell him? I told him he should have dinner waiting for me. Not that I'm such a big fan of squirrel gumbo. Ma, <laughs> well, how do you expect to live together in the same house? You haven't even gotten there yet, and already you're fighting with him. What? This is a little house on the prairie? We're at each other's throats all the time. There are more fights here than at Caesar's Palace. And hard before answering. Am I ugly? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I've always thought of myself as ravishing, but is something changing? Is, the, is there all of a sudden something? He reminds me of my old dog, Rusty. <laughs> Rose, please, Grace isn't feeling well. Can we skip the Rusty story today? <laughs> okay, everybody, please take a seat. There's not much to explain. This one. You're a college professor? Well, what did you think I meant when I said I taught Hemingway? I thought you were old. <laughs> I want you to meet some people, Rose. Gail, Lillian, it's my friend Rose. How do you do? Hello, Miles. Drop him like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> he lay on the ground, and he was writhing and groaning and screaming in agony. And I stood over him, and I looked at this pitiable creature and I thought I can take care of myself I'm not helpless oh. I'm gonna be okay oh, honey, honey that... there you are pussycat what's this news about Ken he gave you a ring didn't he yeah three of them <laughs> look ma I don't know how to say this so I'll just give it to you straight out Ken is becoming a clown <laughs> scusi complimentary fruit basket and a bottle of champagne. Good night. Dorothy's seeing Glenn again. That's right, and I don't need any advice. I can handle it. Dorothy, I had a third cousin who ran around with a married man for 15 years. Are they still together? Well, they would be, but his wife shot him in the... <laughs> All creatures must learn to coexist. Back where I come from, they do. <laughs> That's why the brown bear and the field mouse can share their lives and live in harmony. Of course, they can't mate or the mice would explode. <laughs> but I knew, and it made me feel better about myself. Well, you were one of the lucky ones. It doesn't always work out that well. It sure didn't for Olga Fetchik. Just a minute, Rose. <laughs> Somebody give me a hand signal when she's finished. <laughs> I'll go fit. No one deserves that kind of treatment, Dr. Bud. No one. I suspect had I been a man, I might have been taken a little bit more seriously and not told to go to a hairdresser. Look, I am not going to sit here anymore. Shut up, Lois. <laughs> no, that was for you. It was a mascara note. <laughs> Hey, 
Anyway, I can get out of this. The game's not over till the fat lady sings. I'm singing in the rain. Else? Touch, but I work alone. <laughs> Listen, I've got to run. Will you let me know about dinner tomorrow night? Bye. Oh, thank you, Sophia. That was quick thinking. No big deal. I mistake a lot of people for my grandson. Did she just invite you to dinner? Yes. Oh, not a... oh Dorothy, by any chance, did you borrow my pearl handle six shooter? <laughs> Blanche, you look ridiculous. Well, I do not. I'm a cowgirl. Yippee, I okay. Why? Kaye. What? No job is worth having to date women. Blanche, bilingual refers to a person who speaks more than one language. Oh, well, why did I think it was something sexual? <laughs> anyway, that's why I signed up for a Spanish class at night school. Now, that's a... <laughs> but I'm sure if you just give me a chance, we'll become fast friends. Dorothy, I really wish you'd respect my feelings about this. I really wish you had voted for me in the Little Miss Brooklyn pageant. <laughs> hey, I call them as I see them. <laughs> now, ladies, please. Earth. She says that you are the scum of the earth. But uh, she said it with a lot of love in her eyes. <laughs> he says he's sorry. Did you hear that, darling? He's sorry. So I guess that settles everything. Okay, good night, and we'll see you at your wedding. Girls, wait a minute. It's time. You mean, uh, our date is over? Well, we went to dinner and a movie. What, what's left? I never know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not ready yet. You understand. Of course. <laughs> as long as that's my only choice. I've had a life all... That's exactly what she said when that shoe salesman took Polaroids of her in the back seat of his Valari. Good oh, morning, Ma. Good morning, Pussy. Deep, deep, deep inside. <laughs> Listen, when I thought I was moving, I was going to give each one of you a gift. But I want you to have them anyway. Why, Sophia, how sweet. Oh, honey, you shouldn't have. Yeah. Oh, Ma, this is so lovely. Ever since I was 15, that and having major surgery and telling me about it two days later. <laughs> Sometimes she didn't even need the surgery. That's guilt. Well, the days of my mother making me feel guilty. It appeals myself, but I want you to be there and hold my hand. You're right. I don't understand. I'd do anything to stay alive. If my heart stopped beating, I'd want every doctor in town jumping up and down on my chest. <laughs> you say that now, but I don't have the courage to die by inches. I'm going to do it whether you say live with him. That's right, Sophia. Not marry him, live with him. Yes. yes. Two world wars, a Polish Pope, and now this. <laughs> I may live to see CBS come up with a morning show yet. <laughs> I just don't know what to do. Well, Frank... I'll try. I'll try. I'm usually not like this. I've been using your toothbrush for months. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Bruno Bonafiglio. Ma, I was asleep. So was I. That's when it came to me. Picture this. Sicily, 1922. The village is in a terrible wine crisis. It's the peak of the wine season. Didn't I had these urges. <laughs> you know, in the South, we mature fast, right? I think it's the heat. I think it's the gin. Anyhow, my thirst was Billy. Oh, I remember it so well, just like it. For Ma's sake. Now, let's see, you're going with Howard. Dr. Howard. 
How about Doug? Oh, Dorothy, not Doug. I couldn't possibly. He's on my A-list. I mean, come on, Dorothy. He's a judge. He's fun to be with, and I haven't paid a speeding ticket in six months. I hurt my knee dancing in my room. Excuse me, but do I know you? You look awfully familiar. I get that a lot. People say I look like Wilma Flintstone. <laughs> Not when she was on the air, more the way she looks today. No, 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 I, I can see that too. But you remind me of... Share their lives and live in harmony. Of course, they can't mate or the mice would explode. <laughs> you want me to drive tonight, Dorothy? Oh, Rose, listen. I'm not going to the meeting tonight. Well, how come? I, I'm not comfortable there. I'm not in a museum, so I understand these things. You see, now, for instance, this slash of color of red across the bottom, well, that represents the setting sun, and this jagged blue line, now, that signifies the ocean. And then this spot of orange up here in the corner, that stands for the planets and man's eternal struggle against nature and the earth. Look at it like you're making love to it. <laughs> it might help if you give her a reference she's more familiar with. Okay, this is a rehearsal. We're gonna run through it once and then we'll do it for real. And go. Guess what, Ma? I f Ooh, I'd wait until all my friends are dead, too. <laughs> the last thing I need is whispering at my funeral. <laughs> I can't believe you're reacting like this. We got so close this past week, I thought I could tell you anything. Anything but this. <laughs> well, Mama, I'm on a job. <laughs> You'll spend the rest of your life selling newspapers out of a wagon. <laughs> Keep it zipped, buddy. She's not kidding. Dennis, is everything okay? Everything is fine. Listen, you two better hurry. You're going to miss your plane. Thanks. It's a great telethon. Listen, we'll do the entertaining ourselves if we have to. <gasps> All right, ladies, you're on in ten seconds. <laughs> And, and, oh my, and, well, what do I, I got the... Five, four, three, two. No, you no, you <laughs> So many books. That's why they call it a library. It's from the Latin, librarius, which means so many books. Uh -huh. I'm sure you'll find something you want. I do believe you're right. Forsaken Island. Hey, so we made a few mistakes, huh? Nobody's perfect. Yeah, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? You almost killed us, you nitwits. I hate you. <laughs> I curse the day I ever laid eyes on you. I curse the day your mama ever laid eyes on your daddy. I curse the day your daddy ever laid down with your mom. Tom. <laughs> Ma. Hey, some of Italy's finest sopranos were former mayors. <laughs> my recipes and eventually I'll catch the eye of some fat general with big sweat stains under his arms and he'll force me to let out his uniforms and satisfy his ugly needs it sounds like Christmas with my ex-husband I don't know what moved in good time let him that moved you hither move you hence <laughs> I knew you at the first. You were immovable. Thou hast hit it. Come, sit on me. Ooh. <laughs> you son of a... You put me through all this and I could have had Andy Rooney. Yes. Yes? Yes, 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 Stanley. I will marry you, you know, again. Made me so happy. I feel so lucky. <laughs> I'm the lucky one. <laughs> Dorothy's born egg is going to be my wife. I want to shout her from the rooftops. I just want to tell the whole world. Me too. <laughs> but, but not, not your mother. mother. I don't care what that sales girl said. I look good in that bathing suit. 
You know, sometimes I wish I did live in Brazil. Excuse me. One of you ladies dropped this? Is there any money in it? Uh-huh. I dropped it. I'd have put money on that. But still, St. Olaf's town motto was better Ned than Red. Ned was sort of the town idiot. <laughs> when, on your days off? <laughs> Brush, it's not like you have a date tonight. Ma. It's not like you have a date any night or any day. Look, Ma, when I find somebody worth going out with, I'll go out with him. Now, will you please stop nagging me? Nagging? Is that what it's called when a mother wants a little happiness for her daughter? Ma, I'd like to finish these glasses before Gloria gets here. Your sister's not... You're not telling us? Oh, all right, all right. You twisted my arm. Girls, Laszlo's asked me to pose for one of his sculptures. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Look here. He gave me the key to his building. Oh. I have my first session with him tomorrow morning. Wow. Mm, yeah, well, he says he's always wanted to do a piece on the mature woman, and he thinks I'm just perfect. Nobody believes me. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm really crazy. Oh, Dorothy, you are not crazy. I mean, you are absolutely not crazy. I've seen the way you walk. I've seen how wiped out you get. You're not crazy, honey. You're... Have you ever been a fruit before? <laughs> No, but having been in the musical theater for 30 years, I've had my share of offers. <laughs> but it was a delight meeting all of you. Oh, Mr. Vaughn, don't forget, casting is tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I'm looking forward to it. I trust that all of you will be reading for the part of my leading lady. Make me do this for the rest of my life. Okay, only if you promise you'll live forever. Okay, I promise. <laughs> How can you make a promise like that? Hey, if I don't come through, what are you going to do to me? <laughs> Dorothy, I've been chatting with your boy, Kessler. Give me another hour, I guarantee I'll have his secret figured out. What secret? You got cheese in your ears? I said, give me another hour. <laughs> oh, get away from me, you bloodhounds. I have nothing to say to you. Except this. $200. Sold. <laughs> when would you like the services? Gee, I don't know. Well, how about Thursday night? Thursday night? Oh, crazy. Not Thursday, hell no. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> The Cosby Show. <laughs> How about Friday? You have a TV guide we could check? <laughs> I'm in. Yes, Garfunkel. The 88. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Just give us uh, something on the beach. We'll be there on our honeymoon. Come on in, sweetheart. Doors open. stuff. Hi, Steph. Stephanie. God, am I beat. That London trip is a killer. I've got to be in Paris in 12 hours. I'm going to get some rest. Hi, Liz. We haven't met, but I'm... Stephanie's mother. I'd recognize you anywhere. I, no. No, I'm Rose, your new roommate. <laughs> Now, that's a good one. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Really? You don't think I'm showing too much skin? Rose, move your thumb. <laughs> oh! Oh, and look at this one! People in the morning that you just want to take your grapefruit and shove it in her face. <laughs> hard. As hard as she can stand it. Boy, I'd like to see who was runner-up for maid of honor. <laughs> I've got everything. Can I kiss Aurora goodbye? No. No? We're not going anywhere. Oh, give me that baby. <laughs> oh. Boom, 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 boom. Mr. Sandman. 
Bring me a dream Make him the cutest that I've ever seen Give him two lips like roses and clover And tell him that his lonesome nights are over We had a pig once uh, All the male pigs loved her Oh, she was very beautiful And she got pregnant And we never knew who the father was Oh my God, Rose What did you do on Father's Day? Here we go Week of the seventh, let's see Who was it? Blanche uh -oh. Neither did Dorothy and I Excuse me Hello Oh, hello, Norman, darling. Are we still on for tonight? But, but you said we... But you promised... Sad. Well, that's no excuse. Daddy obviously doesn't know what he's doing. He's lost his grip on reality. Oh, honey, maybe it's not as serious as you think. Maybe he's just going through a stage. My father is not off on some crazy lock, Dorothy. He sold our house and our land and everything he spent his lifetime building. That's the point. I want to return the second. But I don't know how to tell which is which. That's where you come in. What do I do? Well, there's only one thing I can think of. We used to do it back on the farm, and I may be a little rusty, but I guess it's worth a shot. Whatever it is, do it. I'm desperate. Okay. Here goes. Drop I think you're going to have the feed buster for a while. <laughs> Goodbye, Rose. And when you see me at work, don't say good morning. Don't leave me those cheery notes. And please don't put on those little puppet shows over the partition. <laughs> In fact, don't ever think of me again. What's a nice boy like you doing with ulcers anyway? You got a job that pays and a girl will do anything for you. Anything. You will, won't you, Dorothy? <laughs> I'll take that as a have a good time. Don't worry, Mrs. Petrillo. I'll have your little girl home at a reasonable hour. Don't bother. You kids have fun. I won't wait up. Have her back by Tuesday. Matters. <laughs> I'm off. So, you started up with your married man again. How did you know? I'm the amazing Kreskin. <laughs> I was listening outside the door. Oh, Ma. Oh, I can't put my ear to the door, but you can put your... Ma! <laughs> there are variations. You're a genius. <laughs> All you people are brilliant. <laughs> the Chinese invented pasta, you know. We take credit for it, but we just added oregano. Well, uh, but All I can say at this point uh, is... Dorothea... I am so sorry we put you through all this. You would have made a wonderful daughter. But then you already have for your mother. Sophia. Arrivederci. Ciao. 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 I'm just trying to help. You want to help? Be quiet. I'll be quiet. But just don't close your eyes. All right? Don't. Don't close your eyes. Did you find him? No. Very big winker. It was more than a wink. He came up to me and he put his big masculine arms around my tiny little waist. I don't believe you. What? I don't believe that he put his big masculine arms around your... Your help. Ladies, with all due respect, I think it's time you threw in the dish towel. I mean, trying to fix it yourself was cute, but I think you proved your point, and it's time to let a man take over. I'm with Lou. Oh, got your coat. Lou is leaving. <laughs> Not so hard. I work with my hands. You're making a big mistake. The man may be... Same time. For that, you got naked? I thought that was strange, too. You know, Darcy, I think you're right. I've got to talk to George. Good girl. I'll go home right now and tell him I'll cook breakfast for him. <laughs> and I said, I know someone really well <laughs> who could just knock this out of the park. And um, that's how it started. And in terms of casting, uh, 
Was Estelle Getty in the mix uh, in the beginning, or did you? She was the first one. Did you end up? Who knows? I could only find one person who spoke English, and he tried to blame me personally for the Bay of Pigs. Well, how'd you get home? I took the bus the other way. That's when I also noticed that they changed the name of the number 10 bus to the number 7. I'm going to write David Horowitz. <laughs> Sophia, I think you got on the wrong bus. Maybe I did, but I'm going to write... What do you think? There's something about her I don't like. Me too. I find her hard to talk to. Me too. She thinks I'm dumb. Me too. <laughs> me as her partner and then the two of you sign up together i did it dorothy's a better bowler than you are and i want to win this year <laughs> rose how could you do a thing like this i admit it i have a problem i'm too competitive when it comes to athletics like oh really oh. well back in saying all of nobody could tell us apart <laughs> <laughs> You can imagine all the fun we have playing tricks on our teachers in school. <laughs> Which of you brothers has custody of the brain? <laughs> so, what? Young man, this woman is doing you a favor. She's taking time from her own busy schedule. They don't know you have no life. <laughs> Kevin, no dice. You take it or leave it. These are my terms. Look, coach. You told me if I was nice to her, she'd roll over. I'm out of here. If you want to win tomorrow, it's a... Oh, Eddie, how do you gotta burn this? I look like the Rocketeer. Lynch, forget about your hair. That is Rose's husband with you. Charlie? No, I never met Charlie. You not only met him, you slept with him. Just like you sleep with everybody. I most certainly do not. Oh, come... <laughs> Well, I suppose it's been nice having someone look after you since you were young. I had to. When she was 15, I caught her under a pile of hillbillies. <laughs> Picture it, me with a crowbar prying cousins off left and right. Well, thank you. Except for that huge donkey butt. <laughs> Are you having fun? No, give me my present. <laughs> Maybe I'd better talk to Nurse Defarge. I think I could handle it with a little more tact. Ah, oh, good morning, ladies. Not for you, nursey, nurse, nurse, nurse. Good morning, Ma. Okay, good morning. Everybody, look what I have. Where did you oh. find the... Oh. Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh. What is our name? This is Danny. Oh. Dorothy, what in the world is that? It's a flounder, Blanche. <laughs> What do you think it is? What's that baby? <laughs> Benjamin wasn't black. He was from New Jersey. <laughs> I went to my senior prom with a Yankee. <laughs> Get a cold beer. No, she has no time to cook. She works all day. Welding. My son married a welder. Too bad she didn't weld his zipper shut. They got 10 kids they can. <laughs> Grab that. <laughs> Dr. Zhivago is my favorite movie of all time. <laughs> now I'd like to introduce my friends. <laughs> No, no, this is Dorothy. <laughs> it all began when your great-grandfather, Nicodemo, was run down by Marco Venuccio's milk wagon. He ran him down in cold blood? Very cold. Grandpa was already dead. 
Unfortunately, there was a gravedigger strike. So the family was using him as a temporary scarecrow. <laughs> nice to see you again, Dorothy. You too, Mr. Weinstock. When did you get in? <laughs> You mean in town, yesterday. <laughs> you should have called. I could have made you dinner. <laughs> I mean, it sounded like the heat kicking on. I've done this before. By the way, we'll be staying with you until the business gets off the ground. <laughs> well, what happens if the business fails? We'll have to talk about a nightlight for the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy things are going so well for her. Practically accepted into college, now she's flying off to the Bahamas with a doctor. <laughs> Uh, Blanche, this trip to the Bahamas, it is not with the doctor. What do you mean? The girl's a slut. Remember, teeny steps were not Godzilla attacking the city. <laughs> okay. And, and Perry Simon, and they said, you know... Um, we had our affiliates convention in Miami and uh, Selma Diamond and um, um, one of the other actresses uh, on one of their series did this thing where they thought Miami Vice was Miami, not Doris Roberts. Too much woman for him. <laughs> his spirit was willing, but his poor heart couldn't take it. <laughs> it's all our fault. Our silly competitiveness did this. Oh, come on, you two. The man was in his 70s. These things just happen. You had nothing to do with his heart giving out. <laughs> Dorothy, things I could help you with. Should I go on this mission is out of my area of expertise. Who do you think I am, Oliver North? <laughs> well, you're not making this any easier. All right, then. If you think it'll help you land this Al character, you should do it. Al? Who said anything about landing Al? What, do you think I'd risk my life for Al? And then, you're gonna love this. Dom DeLuise takes me by the arm and insists I tell Bert the story. Sophia, I don't want to hear any more about it. Not even the part when Bert and Dom insisted I repeat the story to Lonnie Anderson? I'd like to have fun. And we sure had a good time last year, didn't we, partner? It was okay. <laughs> you know, maybe I should get a partner and enter that tournament. You know, I used to be a pretty decent bowler. Decent bowler? You were a fabulous bowler, 180 average. 180? Come on, come on. Never really given Salvador a chance. You know, I don't understand what you see in this man. It's not something I can explain. Mm. Everything you say about him is true. Lord knows he's not terribly bright. He's not terribly good looking and not much of a provider. But I love him anyway. I don't know why. It's the little th Of course, there are some things I don't understand. Like poverty. And the spokesmodel category on Star Search. <laughs> But then again, you work your wonders in mysterious ways. A couple of years ago, on a night like this, I would have frozen to death because I was by myself. Stay calm, cool, and collected. Another hot dog, Mom? <laughs> Iron! I left three pins! I can't believe it! I can't believe you can swing that. I don't know, Dorothy. Maybe you're right. I should try to make this relationship work. Okay, I'm going to go get prettied up, and then I'm going down to the drugstore and, and get to know more about this man. You know, Bill's likes, Bill's dislikes, Bill's last name. Hi, ho, everybody. It's me, Sonny. Oh, God. Is, is Dorothy around? She's out on the lanai. 
I suppose you're wondering why a man likes Sonny Bono. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, on the lanai. <laughs> Stealing and then making love in the mud. <laughs> you went to Woodstock? Well, actually, it was the movie, but afterwards we did go home and make love in the mud. <laughs> I guess the 60s were a confusing time for all of us, Glenn. <laughs> oh, gee, I'd forgotten I had these candlesticks. They were mothers. Oh, oh they'd be perfect for the alcohol. Diet Coco, I'm going out again tomorrow. <laughs> Dorothy, how was the funeral? It was a humdinger, Blanche. We closed the place. <laughs> Where's Sophia? She's taking this pretty hard. I guess she needs a couple of my mind. I thought I heard you in here. What are you doing home? I'm all better, Ma. Oh, she is not. She's afraid to have the surgery because she has a phobia about hospitals. And do you know why I have that phobia? Because when I was five years old, I was left alone in the hospital on the day I was having my tonsils taken out. I was in Cleveland at your Uncle Mario's funeral. Ma, you know, this is how Imelda Marcus got started with that shoe thing. <laughs> now, Ma, what is going on? I don't know. It makes me feel good. In a strange way, shopping there makes you feel immortal. I don't follow. Let's say you buy 20 cases of sardines. This better be... It'll be in the upper 80s with a nice, gentle breeze. So with that outdoor service, we'll come away with some healthy color. Aunt Gretchen always loved the sun. Well, maybe they'll have an open casket. <laughs> uh huh, a lot. Well, then why don't you go to the hospital? Because when he got sick, it scared the hell out of me. And you did what you always do. You ran. Blanche, it's time to stop running. You really think so? Absolutely. You're right. I will. Oh, Dorothy, you are... Ma, did you have a sardine sandwich for lunch again? Dreyfus? Ma, what the hell is Dreyfus doing here? Come Boy, you writers never stop using your imagination. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> Where are you going? It's Saturday night. I'm all dressed up. There's a car honking for me. Think, Dorothy. Remember something called a date? Picking up with him. And I can do the carpool for school because my hours are And flexible. I can help him with his homework because I'm a teacher. And then we can send him to the University of Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. Are you crazy, Rose? This kid is going to Harvard. Oh, Dorothy, those Ivy League schools are so... <laughs> what can I say about <laughs> Philip Petrillo? He was... special. <laughs> Very special. Yeah, a man doesn't get any more special than this. One of our where is this relationship going talks. Oh, and where is it going? Where it usually goes, room 506 at the Quality Court. <laughs> oh, I hate him. God, if only he didn't want to talk. <laughs> oh, by the way, right after I got in, you got really nuns. We're actually gorgeous private citizens. <laughs> Now I'm confused. Come to the kitchen. I'll fix you some breakfast and explain the whole thing. Oh, Look, everybody, the storm's letting up. Oh, I'm going to run right on over to Walter's. Aren't you going to change? It's on the cable installer. <laughs> so nice to meet you, Dorothy. It, it's funny, though. What? I've known Sophia for almost 25 years, and until now, I didn't even know she had a daughter. <laughs> I'm sure she must have mentioned me. No, nope. best way to handle it was just to lead my girls in a farewell cheer. <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. Who will Blanche no longer date? Come on. Did he get the message? Or did the band have to spell out buzz off at halftime? <laughs> Blanche. 
Blanche, what's wrong? Oh, nothing. What is it, Blanche? Nothing. But you've been crying, honey. Or are those tears of joy? Uh, joy, joy, <laughs> joy. <laughs> is that joy? It doesn't look like joy. But you're leaving. Well, wouldn't I could make a break for it, but I'm afraid you'd shoot me going over the wall. <laughs> Sophia, couldn't you just visit, Phil? You don't have to move in permanently. And besides, honey, you're not going to be comfortable there. They live in a trailer. You won't have any privacy. I bet you don't even get your own bedroom. Please, we all have our own rooms here, and I still don't... Ma! <laughs> Will you stop telling her what to play? I'm not saying a word. Did I speak, Blanche? Not a word. You keep shaking your head. I've been holding it up for 80 years. You'd shake, too. <laughs> What do you think? Oh. <laughs> uh, did I hear you say that you were from St. Olaf? Yes. I'm from St. Gustav. We're neighbors. My name's Meg. I'm Rose. What are you doing here, Meg? I was arrested for being a hooker, just like you. Oh, I'm not... What? She let me buy the tickets! It was that easy just because you said how much you wanted to see Frank Sinatra? Yeah, that and that I only had three weeks to live. <laughs> Dorothy. These are desperate times, Rose. Boy, I'll say. Today, when I went to the dean's I office... I bought tickets. Sir Delbert was going to ask me that I turn down our only foreign exchange student, Cyril Mountbatten. Well, Daddy didn't like Cyril anyway because he was British. Daddy said the relationship would never work out on account of the language barrier. <laughs> Daddy was a very caring and ignorant man. What happened? You know when you told her to drop dead? Yes. I think she did. And it happened during a big rainstorm. Rain? Yeah. Storm. Which caused a mighty flood that covered all the land. Oh, come on. Blanche, nobody in his right mind is going to believe this story. This is going to St. Olaf. Which caused a mighty flood. And... <laughs> Oh my God, Dorothy, there it is, the statue. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, I just can't wait to hear that. Gee, I hope Marguerite likes champagne. <laughs> champagne, don't you think we may be going a little overboard with this? Dorothy, remember the crow man. Do we have any caviar to go with this champagne? <laughs> that must be... Oh, girls, I'm scared. Now, now, just take a deep breath and relax. <laughs> Variety is the watchword for our next bachelorette, Dorothy's Bornack. Come on up, Dorothy. This is perfect. The way the bidding's going, we won't be out more than $20, $30 a piece. If Dorothy's not off winging her way to mold the entire marriage, cheating on us both. <laughs> the only difference is, is you haven't been forgiven by us both. So the answer is no. I don't trust you, Stan. And where there's no trust, there is no family. You marry this man, and we're no longer family. Marital status? Oh, I am sorry. How long? Three weeks. I'd say it was time you were getting on with your life, honey. <laughs> Thank you very much. Blanche, marital status is not a question on the survey. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Should I? Oh, what the hell? Rose, what is Kawakanagan? It's a lot like baseball, except instead of hitting a ball, you whack yourself on the head. <laughs> After ten whacks, if you're still standing, you take first base. Uh -huh. It's usually a very low scoring. I went to get a jacket. Thank you, Rose. You know, we are so excited about what you two are doing. I'm sure it's going to turn out great. Oh, I wish I was so sure. What do you mean? Well, I'm having second thoughts. About what? Well, when I met Blanche, I thought uh, she would be the perfect model for the piece I had in mind. You know, sexy, sassy, exciting. Huh? But now... People, we are talking about one man who is probably sleeping. 
You don't think I can recognize death? I lived in a retirement home. Death visited more often than children. Rose, go on. Well, I, I can't. What? I'm afraid. You go. Oh, no, I can't go in there. I have a thing again. I think you're going to have to feed Buster for a while. <laughs> Goodbye, Rose. And when you see me at work, don't say good morning. Don't leave me those cheery notes. And please don't put on those little puppet shows over the partition. In fact, don't ever think of me again. Treats. I don't get the connection, ma'am, but thank you. I'm glad you stopped by to visit me. This is not a visit. It's part of my... Pretend you didn't hear that. I'll see you tomorrow. thinking, what in the world is this man like about me? So you went back to Tom because you know what he likes. Yes, but the whole time I was with him, I was miserable because I wanted to be with John. Well, then tell all this to John. I guess that is my only choice. Yes, I'm going to look him up tonight and I'm going to patch things up. Oh, Dorothy, Dorothy, I thought you'd never come home. I have to talk to you. Is something wrong? Is it Ma? Oh, no, no, she's fine. Um, it's just that you're out so late on a school night. What? I mean, how was your date with Elliot? They're wonderful, as usual. Dorothy, I, I... Yes. Men only value that in you? Well, they used to. Now my only hope is to become an intellectual and find a retired Jew. Blanche, you have to change your thinking. You have... Who's she? Oh, oh sorry. Uh, this is my ex-wife, Dorothy. Dorothy, this is my soon-to-be ex-wife, Chrissy. Hi. I want you back, stick man. I need you back. I was so wrong to think I'd be happier with Jean-Paul. I realize that now. I can't spend another night without you in that big... On pie recipe. <laughs> Tell me, Blanche, during any of this, would the farm hands suddenly break into a chorus of them old cotton fields back home? <laughs> well, maybe I am exaggerating just a touch, but... Not about Big Daddy. Oh, he's a very special man. He... Joey, the best thing to do in any relationship is talk. That's right! I have nothing to say to you. <laughs> Sophia, I can't believe that saying this will write 70 years of... No. I always wanted a tiara. I mean, see, ever since I was a little girl back in St. Olaf, I mean, every year I'd blow out my birthday candles and wish for one, and every year I'd get a freshly carved pair of wooden shoes. <laughs> Except for... Oh, so you're studying for your interview. Uh-huh. I know it's a lot of added responsibility, but I really want this job. Then why are you reading the racing form? The racing form? Why would you think I'm reading the racing form? You can't lie to your mother. Mothers always know when you lie. There you are, pussycat. What's this news about Ken? He gave you a ring, didn't he? Yeah, three of them. <laughs> Look, Ma, I don't know how to say this, so I'll just give it to you straight out. Ken is becoming a clown. <laughs> Scusi? In our line of work, too. Now. What do you see? I see an angel. <laughs> Very good. How about this one? Uh, I see a dove perched upon the throne of God. Excellent. And this? I see the Blessed Mother smiling sweetly as she pours love upon the... <laughs> you celebrate your way, I'll celebrate mine. <laughs> not, I am his son. He served in Korea. Really? Army captain. They're ready for bravery. But 
Not before he graduated top of his class at Vanderbilt. Hey. Come on, Ed. You walk out that door, Missy. You can forget about coming back. Lucy! Lean over a mirror sometime and take a look at yourself. Where's a mirror? There's one in the tool drawer. I think you better take a sedative before you look. <laughs> Don't be silly. I look at my face all the time. How different could it be leaning over? Oh, my God! Sitting around the table, where you read around the table with a lot of actors, and all of a sudden I'm sitting there with Rue and, and, and B, and... You had to be very careful when you'd read a line, you better be ready. You threw it over the net and you better be ready because you were going to get it right back. That was the most exciting read through I've ever Tried to pee on me. <laughs> Aunt Angela, I'd like you to meet my dear friend Blanche. Blanche, this is my Aunt Angela. Oh, pleasure to meet you, Angela. Dorothy, shall I get Angela's luggage? Oh, she doesn't have any luggage. No, I never travel with luggage. Ever since the time I found a dead man in my suitcase. <laughs> Found a big round? No. With who? <laughs> Everyone. Huh. Serves you right. Blanche! Well, it does. What goes around comes around. Well, then I must have been really bad. What do you mean? Devil <laughs> you. I just figured out what's going on here. Blanche. <laughs> You were sore at me for inviting your friend without asking you, so you hired this guy to come over and teach me a lesson. <laughs> Norman, why are you ripping the pages out of that book? Because my daddy's rich. Norman, do you know that there are boys and girls less fortunate than you who have never even seen a book? Hey. Everybody's got their sad stories. It's all your... All and you come waltzing through that door and tell me you want me to give you a music box. Oh, wait! It's Mimi! <laughs> Just under the buzzer, Rose. It was of great sentimental value, Blanche, I assure you. It just so happens we haven't found any music box. This with me? You no. bet we are, honey. Oh. This is what friendship is all about. Banding together when the going gets tough. Sacrificing sleep and personal comfort. Putting someone else's need ahead of your own. It's beautiful. Let me know how it turns out in the morning. Even <laughs> triples. You know what that means? Sure, it means that if he dies, those crummy pictures of his will be worth a fortune. He'll have more money than he'll know what to do with. <laughs> You almost got it, Rose. <laughs> They're gonna auction off some of Jasper de Kimmel's art this week with a piece of that to toe. <laughs> well, then how did you get over your fear? I never did, but thanks to Dorothy, I now have new hope. <laughs> you see, Dorothy, Blanche is willing to face her fear. I think it's time you faced yours. Look, Rose, forget it. I am not going to have that surgery, and no one is going to make me change. Maybe there is something I can say. And I want to apologize for this story before I begin. Have you ever heard of a little town called St. Olaf? No. Perfect. Now, as it was told to me, and I have to admit that I wasn't listening that closely, uh, there was this farmer named Niels Niebler. I enjoyed. I patted a few bottoms. But that was it, Rose. Oh, Molly was my world. And then one day... A drunk in a Chevy took my world away. For a year, I was a zombie. I drank. Hospital administrator. But I'll never get it. I'm not qualified. I'm too old. What time is your appointment? 8.30. All right, let me see your resume. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, now let's see. Let's see. What's it? Oh, home ec major at Rockport Community College, six months at St. Paul's Business School. This is in her hand. <laughs> I know I can't replace it, but I, I want to make it up to you. I... Listen, since this is our first night as roommates, 
I'd like to invite the two of you to dinner at my favorite restaurant. Oh, well, that's well, very sweet. Thank of you, Rose. Well, then we better hurry because the oh. strawberry blizzard. Let her down to the pharmacy and give it to Bill. Oh, Blanche, you're not going to send that letter. I mean, that's so cold. Don't you think you owe him a face to face explanation? Good job, Dorothy. Cut off what little income I've got. <laughs> Blanche, instead of sending the letter, why don't you talk to him? I mean, get to know him on television, ever. <laughs> it's in stereo, for Pete's sake. Oh, I'd like to see my niece. Sure, come on in. Blanche, I can't believe you're here. I mean, haven't you embarrassed me enough already? Lucy, can we please talk in private? Whatever you have to say to me, you can say right here. I hope he's taking you to a cold climate. Good night. Good night. Sit the thanks, ladies. It was a pleasure. Nice meeting you, Harry. Have fun. The man is a scuzzball. Ma, the four of us have lived together for a long time. Now, how can you just walk in here and announce... Keep it on the ground. Then, when they're used to it on the ground, we attack them through the air. I've used the same formula for 60 years of lovemaking. Trust me, it works. <laughs> Okay, everybody, hit the field. Yeah! yeah! You're upset because you can't play, aren't you? Still could. I detect a little sibling rivalry. Oh, I don't know. I guess I've just always had the feeling that my parents liked Gloria better than they liked me. Oh, I know for a fact my parents liked my sisters better than they did me. Oh, Blanche, that's silly. How could you know a thing like that? They told me. <laughs> Oh, Blanche, I can't believe the name. Derek, uh, something. <laughs> oh, my God, he's so classy. He's English. <laughs> you know what that means. You've completed your Men of Western Europe collection. <laughs> You're not going to spoil this for me, Dorothy. He is perfect. He just takes my breath away. Ah, four years is a long time. Maybe he's divorced. What you think? Well, sure. Why else would he call? Oh, just stay away from him. Oh, see him. Keep some self-respect. Self-respect is for losers like Rose. <laughs> well, sure. You'd have some great times and some fabulous sex. But is that worth your self-respect? Not now, loser. Hey, tail. Hansel and Hansel. <laughs> You told me your parents made up these stories. Well, I thought they did, but when I called my sister for more stories, she suggested I pick up the book that Mom and Dad got them from. Well, this is great. We've been writing stories that have all... Give him a little responsibility. He might even start feeling good about himself. And start hating me if I ask him to do all this. Now, listen, Blanche. You do what is best for David, not what is easiest for you. Yo, know, we had chores on the farm, I'm both boys and girls. And when we'd finished, we had such a feeling of accomplishment. This was for you, but it's so cute. Now it's for me. <laughs> this is for you. Edible panties. <laughs> oh, what a lovely sentiment. Thank you. You really like them? I oh, like them. I love them. In fact, I may have the waistband with a... And also honestly say that I'm amazed the way this lays out. You only owe the government a small amount. You're kidding. No, five thousand dollars. Five thousand? We don't have that kind of money. Uncle Sam doesn't like to hear that. Aunt Dorothy doesn't enjoy saying it. <laughs> I will be holding the baby next to my bosom. <laughs> what a magnificent picture. God, I wish that thing didn't look so sickly. I don't care if y'all paying for dinner. What you want to do is crazy. It's time to go, Sophia. Hmm. Oh, it's awful. What's the matter with it? It's expired. <laughs> but sometimes it's good after the date. I just wanted to check. Yeah. <laughs> you look tired, Ma. Rose kept me up all night. Oh, uh, why? I don't know. She was... A no, I really have to go. Well, what a terrible morning this is. Sophia's leaving. And I'm playing an ugly old witch because you stole my part. <laughs> oh, Blanche, I know how much that part means to you. And you know what I was thinking? You could go on for me one night. Oh, now, Stan, you have to try to put yourself together. <laughs> hey, babe, don't worry. I'm a survivor. Everything's cool. The cat who's going to cut me is primo. 
I said, pull yourself together, not talk like Sammy Davis Jr. I only meant that the operation is a very common procedure. Everything's going to turn out just fine. A man? You know, a man. No. Yes. <laughs> what about your father? You mean you never saw your father? My father? Oh, no, my father! Oh. I've been marking the days off on my big ships of the Navy calendar. I don't think I can stand it much longer. My body feels like a corvette up on blocks with its engine racing and the wheels just spinning and spinning with nowhere to go. I feel like I'm going to explode. Dorothy, you have to help me. You have to do something. Honey, father was the only one. Well, she finally left, didn't she, Sophia? Yeah, I'll never forget that day. Your father stayed home from work. Uh, uh, uh. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the day off. I don't know what he did, but he was happy when I got home. <laughs> Since Charlie was a traveling salesman, sometimes I'd be alone. Literary figures of our time, it's usually uh, Faulkner, Fitzgerald, and uh, Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> did he sign your book? Yes, but only after he refused to sign my thigh. He was probably intimidated to see a thigh bigger than his. Boy, cheesecake, that sounds great. Why don't we just go sit out on the lanai? <laughs> goodbye, sugar. Have a good trip and call me as soon as you get home. Bye. Bye. Yes. All right. Bye. You call me. Bye. 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 I guess we ought to be on our way. Honey, Alligator Grotto has been there a thousand years. It can wait another few minutes. Good afternoon, ladies. Hey, Jason, why don't you take the glasses off and stay a while? No, gotta go. Uh, where's the baby? The baby's sleeping. Let me take a peek. At the Greater Miami Baby Sleep. Do that. <laughs> if you can fix Dorothy up with somebody, maybe I can get out of the house once in a while. Or at least stay in and walk around naked. <laughs> Look, you better be going. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You forgot to answer the questions on the back. And I still need a picture. Would you settle for a thousand while we at the 4th of July picnic? The whole town is here. To hell with this town. Come away with me. But you're a drifter, Bill. I can't just pull up stakes and run off with you. Please reconsider, Josie. You're the prettiest girl in the county. I need to have your answer now. What's it going to be? I want you to... We used to have the most wonderful ones back home. I can remember sitting out under a big old tree with the Darcy triplets, Hank, Bo, and Dove, eating and talking and laughing. And then long towards the end of the meal, why the boys always got into a fight over who was going to get to lick the barbecue sauce from my fingertips and kiss away the little drop, little butter that always... Saw him first. But we were meant for each other. I'm a woman, he's a man. And what am I, little Richard? <laughs> Oh, all right. Fair's fair. But if he has a friend who makes house calls, I can be ill any night this week except Thursday. Well, doctor, how is she? Well, after all of these years, it does an old man's heart good. And so does that. <laughs> Uncle Angelo, I... I'm so glad I disobeyed the doctor's orders and risked this a longer trip to see the both of you so... What? You two are seeing each other? You know, for years, my father's been telling me to see a psychiatrist. <laughs> I couldn't understand why. And then a couple of weeks ago, it dawned on me. He probably meant socially. Oh, it's wonderful. They really listen. She really talks. <laughs> Miserable, no good, low life. You told me your mama was having surgery. She is. Blanche, please let me explain. Why? So you can make up some cockamamie story about how you're just two ships that passed in the night and it'll never happen again. Save your breath. I've heard all that before. You have? Yes, all time, but I always thought this part of my life was supposed to be for me. Honey, I understand exactly how you feel. I feel the same way. You know, at our age, we should be grandmothers, not mothers. Once a week, the grandchildren come over for a visit. You cook them dinner, they spill it on the furniture. They hide under your elements. No, it doesn't, Blanche. That's where I put my creamsicle down this afternoon when I answered the phone. 
See, it rubs right off. <laughs> Decorator, Nancy Reagan's decorator. <laughs> That'd kill my sister. <laughs> She's your sister. How can you hate your sister? Because she made me and my big sister Charmaine miserable our entire lives. I never heard of such a thing. You never heard of anybody hating their sister? Never. Me? Well, now, where were we? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, I feel a lot better now that we've got everything settled. So I think we ought to go over all I my... can't do it. I can't go through with this. Ma, what's wrong? Sophia, what are you talking about? This just isn't going to work. I was... Your 40s. <laughs> It's either that or a big rent raise. <laughs> Hi, you guys. What are you doing up? Sophia's old and I'm filled with anxiety. <laughs> Blanche, you can't stay home from work forever. Can't you just swallow your pride? We are gathered here today to join this man and this woman in matrimony. I just state. love wedding. Oh, me too, me too. You think you'll ever get married again? Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Me neither. How about you, Blanche? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> If the right man ever came along, of course, he'd have to have the... Dorothy in our wedding gown. Look how scared the groom looks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Blanche, you're on in one minute. You sit over there, and Dorothy, you get touched up. And Sophia, come on, I'll see if I can find you a seat in the audience. Hurry up, honey. Oh, okay, what do you think of this one? Dorothy, you and Elliot have been out almost every night this week. He's obviously hooked. You don't have to look good anymore. What you have on is fine. <laughs> I mean, I hardly know him. Oh. <laughs> I suppose, but it feels like I've known him for ages and that he's known me. Oh, I found the most wonderful man in the world and I owe it all to the two of you. You got a minute? Sure. Good, crochet me a scarf. <laughs> Ma, I need to talk to you about Alvin. He's sick, Ma. What are you talking about? You've never even seen him. I've seen him, Ma. After you had that fight, I was worried about you, and I... I... She looked at me and hoped I would marry Rich. Which I did. Very rich. <laughs> Why didn't she ever say any of this? She did. Who did she turn to whenever she's in trouble? Hmm? Who did she come to live with? Her favorite. You up with one of my discards, Henry Barnes. He's reasonably good looking. He drives a new Buick Riviera. And I heard he just opened a third dry cleaning store in Boca Raton. Blanche, where are you going? I'm gonna go call Henry. I have nothing to do tonight. What about Rose? Oh, tell her to call Bud Needham. Who is Bud Needham? He just took Henry's place in my discard pile. <laughs> Morning, Dorothy. I didn't want to hear it from Bryant Gumbel, and I don't want to hear it from you. <laughs> Problem? I still don't have a date for Jenny's wedding. My own goddaughter, and I'm going to show up alone. How humiliating. Yeah. No, I don't rub it in. Sex, Rose. I am talking sex. We don't go to dinner. We don't go to the movies. We just go to bed, and it is terrific. All that and cappuccino, too? and Miami's own Sophia Petrillo. <laughs> Ma, he's way behind in the polls, but the election is two days away and a lot can happen in two days. Well, I, for one, am going to do everything in my power to get Gil elected. Oh, fine, you can start by taking this folder he left over to his house. On the other hand, why should I deprive Rose of a chance to be... And set sail for America. 500 people filled with hope, singing, laughing, drinking... Actually, only the Irish were drinking, but I digress. Of course, on the second day, things took a turn for the worse. For the next month and a half, the storm tore seas, made all... It's coming weekend? Well, sure I can. <laughs> all right. 
All right, I'll see you then, Janet. I love you, baby. Oh, oh great, great. What are we supposed to do now? Back in Minnesota, we'd settle this kind of a dispute with some good-natured log rolling. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Rose, my log is in the shop. <laughs> what do we do now? Toss a coin. Okay. All right. I could eat corn on the cob. <laughs> of course, he didn't actually get a lot of it into his mouth. <laughs> so they'd cream what fell on his pants and he'd eat it later. <laughs> I want you to run along the store. I'll just stay here with Emily. Come on, let's go to that all-night market over... Shh. I have a confession to make. It's not easy, but something happened over there, and I think you should know about it. Well, I did keep pretty well up with what went on over there. I saw Schwarzkopf on the Bob Hope special. <laughs> what I'm talking about is personal, Blanche. I know we said we wouldn't even look at anybody else. All those years of sending them to their room until they were ready to apologize to you... Now, all of a sudden, everything's just all topsy-turvy. I don't know if I can do it. Maybe it'd help if I sent you to your room. Oh. Rebecca. <sighs> but I can promise you I do not go to bed with men who wear wedding bands. What if he took it off? Then I'd see the tan line. What if he was from Minnesota and had no tan? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So he's not good enough for you. Listen, my Charlie was six foot two and a nuclear bomb the day after. Eight years old, and this is the kind of thing that's on her mind. That's unbelievable. Well, she wasn't the only one. Three other girls did pictures just like it. I don't understand, though. Oh, honey, it's not so uncommon. I mean, kids hear about nuclear war on TV. They read it in the papers. It's part of their lives. I mean, they can't help but... You're not the only one. The old lady next door is running through a sprinkler in her underwear. There's no old lady living... Ma! <laughs> It must be 110. Don't do this to me. Bobby Seal. It's getting warm in here. Tom Hayden. Oh, God, you're good. Bobby. Okay. Just, just come on in here, you. What do you want? You know, I don't understand you. I see a perfectly healthy, intelligent person living like this, alone. I'm not alone. Oh, thank you, Ma. That's very sweet. Give me $20. No. No. <laughs> Did I say mother needs a child? I meant roommate. Give me $20. What for? Seoul, Korea, 1988, the Olympics. I'd like to be there competing for the USA. Contribute now and I'll make sure you get a soul. have each other and i'll tell you the truth when we had the money we did crazy ridiculous things to be honest i'm glad it's gone girls my cousin who took baby just sent us a letter oh, please let there be cash in it i can't step before another day oh, i'm sorry <laughs> what happened to two oh who cares Glenn? <laughs> Hey, once you hear happily ever after, it's over. <laughs> well, Dorothy, did you get anything out of this? Actually, I did get an idea. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Ma away for the weekend to a cabin in the Florida Keys. You. Uh, Barry was the man that I wanted to be the first. First where? <laughs> On Mars, Rose. <laughs> My first lover. Well, so what happened? Stanley, that's what happened. Stanley. I went to a drive-in with Stanley. was arrested. The feds tried to pin everything on me. You mean, did they... Have you been to prison? Oh, no. I couldn't let that happen. Can you imagine what my life would have been like if the other inmates found out how much I love to dance? <laughs> no, I... Do you... That letter to Rose. You what? <laughs> I wrote that letter myself. I made up a name and I answered Rose's ad. <laughs> Blanche, how could you? She thinks someone took an interest in her. Well, someone did, me. 
But what if she expects another letter from this guy? What if she decides... Oh, look, two more mimes pretending to kill yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun with this. Um... <laughs> they weren't mimes, were they? Dorothy, according to the rules of etiquette, you should never wait more than 20 minutes for a date. She's already waited six months for a date. What's another half hour? I hate blind dates. You know, Ma, I never would have agreed to this if it wasn't your best friend Edna's good-looking doctor nephew. Oh, he wasn't available anymore. Patience, and we settled on right here. Oh, now, hold on here. I don't want a TV crew coming in here, messing up my kitchen, setting up all that video equipment. Well, how about shooting in your bedroom, Blanche? The equipment's already set up there. So there's this cognitive dissonance between her actual and her ideal self, which causes her to be practically dysfunctional. <laughs> but of course, I'm no psychologist. No, you're a nitwit. <laughs> How come you know those words? Blanche, come on, it's not nice calling her a nitwit, but since the cat's out of the bag... Shrink, that chicks really eat that stuff up. <laughs> anyway, Catherine and I fell in love, and on the spur of the moment, we decided to get married. The wedding is a week from tonight, and you're all invited. <laughs> I talked to the kids, they said they're gonna try and fly in. Well, I gotta go now. I'm on my way to surprise Catherine with this. I detect a little sibling rivalry? Oh, I don't know. I guess I've just always had the feeling that my parents liked Gloria better than they liked me. Oh, I know for a fact my parents liked my sisters better than they did me. Oh, Blanche, that's silly. How could you know a thing like that? They told me. <laughs> oh, Blanche, I can't believe it. You start again. I don't know. I don't know. I've just been under a lot of stress lately. My job, Ma, getting married. You're growing older. Oh. You don't go out much. Your chin is starting to droop. <laughs> you know, since I've already had the cigarette, why don't you just blindfold me and shoot me? Man, I can be with you now. Oh. If that's still what you want. Oh, that's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> oh, oh. No. But you have to promise me never to leave me again. Well, sweetheart, I, I might have to for a little while. Back on my farm in Pennsylvania, I still have an order in for 13 windmills. <laughs> it was very, very special. And it's all my fault. He had a heart attack. It's not your fault. He had a heart attack with me. Mrs. Beatty, my late husband, had a heart attack with me as well. All right. Who put the raisin bran in the refrigerator? I did. Do you have a problem with that? Yes, I do. I have two problems. No. No, not really. <laughs> Prove it. Put your money where your mouth is. If there isn't already a sweet roll there. Right, all right, but now nobody looked. I always thought you had to pass zero to hit that number. <laughs> associate producer quit. So now I am the new associate producer of the Wake Up Miami show. Oh. They even gave me a nameplate for my desk. Harold Goldstein, associate producer. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? Oh, congratulations, Harold. That's great. <laughs> We've already had our first meeting. I see... Uh, and Angela... <laughs> uh, where did you get this chicken? The garage. <laughs> I guess this means no live entertainment with dessert. Then he took me dancing and he was a perfect gentleman. Get to the humiliation and degradation part. <laughs> then I suggested we go back to his place. When we got there, I went to the bathroom to freshen up. After I had removed all of my clothes, <laughs> I noticed his monogram velour. Somebody help me with the groceries. Oh, great. That's Dorothy. I gotta get both dogs into my room. Come on, boys. You know, Sophia, I'm not too sure that's a good idea. 
Darcy sees me with these two, she'll know I screwed up. Yeah, but there's something I think you're not considering here. Uh, Sophia. Dear. Sophia, I... She responded. Of course I did. They were in the shoebox I took to the post office last week. Unless... Unless what? Unless I sent my best pair of heels overnight mail. <laughs> This is terrible. You're telling me now I don't have shoes for the party. <laughs> Girls, I think we're all artists. We're all misunderstood. He cut off his hair. Maybe I'll cut off my hair. <laughs> he cut off his ear. I have too many earrings. <laughs> We gotta go. I hate to leave. I've never seen a show like this before. Her hair will fall out. Her heart will stop. Her eyes will burn like a thousand red-hot suns. <laughs> Mom, why do you keep playing this game if you hate her so much? To relax. <laughs> How do you remember all this? I tagged him for migratory purposes. <laughs> Come on, the auction needs you. The children need you. Please, won't you reconsider? Oh, all right. It's only one night. I'll go, but I'll tell you, I really hate this. Oh, come on, Dorothy. That balloon man couldn't have been that terrible. Both to know that I don't enjoy failing anybody, especially this kid. But he's lazy. In his book report on A Tale of Two Cities, he said he liked them both, but he really prefers Minneapolis, because that's where Prince is from. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hi, honey. Bro no. And isn't it true that... Well, excuse me, but that's the nicest tie I've ever seen. Thanks. Didn't you tell Rose Nyland you were living in a slum? Sure, but... No further was... questions. <laughs> isn't it true, Mrs. Devereaux, that Mrs. Zabornak is the kind of person who likes to... She says that you and Michael spend so much time arguing that you don't have time for him. Don't you take that tone with me, Missy. Yes, I realize you're his mother. Well, no, I don't suppose I can stop you if you insist on coming and getting him. But you let me tell you this. If you and my... I don't know. What difference does it make? Oh, big difference. The Mortimer Club is restricted. Barbara, why are you a member of a club like that? <laughs> because they serve a great breakfast and the parking is free. Besides, it's their policy, not mine. Yeah, but you tolerate it. Dorothy, I tolerate a lot of things. Oh. Didn't you hear me honking? Well, Jeremy, we were just saying goodbye. Well, hop to it. Kiss, kiss, hug, hug, we're out of here. Mama, thanks again for being so understanding about our wedding plans. Hey, well, that's me, old understanding mama. <laughs> it's just really so much simpler if Jeremy and I run off and do it ourselves. Yeah, that'll be the day when you run anywhere. The question. Let's say a man is interested in you. This isn't going to stop until one of us dies, is it? No. <laughs> Which of the following characteristics could you live with? Body odor? <laughs> schizophrenia? Extra toes? Mark! I mean, after she left, the town didn't have a professional beautician for years. <laughs> Women started giving each other home perms. Pretty soon, everybody looked like Art Garfunkel. <laughs> Husbands stopped sleeping with their wives. The population started to go down. You can turn right around and spit in your face. I'm sorry, Ma. Few months, huh? Don't you give me enough time to finish the scarf? <laughs> Sick. I think so, too. I really do. But nobody believes me. Doctors don't know everything, Dorothy. You're right. I mean, they think they do, but they don't. <laughs> You're right. I mean, after all, Dr. Seuss was a doctor, too. <laughs> Beto, stand up and say, hello, Dal. <laughs> oh, I know. You can give Miles one of those boudoir photographs. You know, where you pose for pictures in sexy lingerie? Oh, I don't know. I'd feel cheap, like, well, like you. <laughs> oh, gross. Come on. I have to deal with 400 people in Simpsons t-shirts trying to knock 25 cents off your I lost my ass in Vegas cup. 
Is my cup out there? I don't want to sell my cup. Come on, Blanche. There's nothing wrong with Rose having a yard sale. Right, Ma? Here, Blanche. Taste this. Ma! <laughs> Look, Rose. It feels better being honest with you, too. And I'd hate to think that this is going to keep us from being friends. Well, honey, of course it isn't. Oh, no, I'll get used to this. I will. Well, look at me already. I'm practically comfortable seeing you here. Leave anymore. I just lie there waiting for the authorities to catch up with me. Every siren I hear I know is for me. Every footstep outside my window belongs to that obsessive detective who will not rest until he tracks me down. Blanche, you are being ridiculous. Dearly, but I have to go where I'm needed and Phil needs me. I thought you said Phil and his wife were getting along better. Ah, they were never right for each other. She never appreciated him, never encouraged him. With the right woman behind him, he could have had a real diamond in his front tooth. <laughs> no, Rose, they go. No, the mink stay. They serve man, now we serve them. Oh, come on. Well, are you saying that just because they're too old to breed, they're useless? That they're no good for anything anymore? The mink stay. Right. <laughs> Come on, let's cook them a little something to eat. <laughs> oh, my God. It's into enemies. Jealousy. Huh, I ought to know. You see, I was a devastatingly beautiful child. <laughs> Pink cheeks, cute little button nose, red ruby lips, adorable little ringlet curl. <laughs> I was the tallest baby in the history of New York and had a rash on my head till I was... A spaniel. A spaniel's not a large dog. To a three-year-old it is. We've got a guard dog in the kitchen. Great, the food is safe. I know what we can do. Let's go out to dinner, my treat. What about breakfast and lunch? Look, I'm calling the kennel here. <laughs> The very first night he was in America, his uncle took him to a movie. He felt more excited than he ever had in his whole life watching that movie because of the feeling he got sitting in that theater with all those other people. Laughing together, getting scared together. He felt like those people were his friend. I guess I could go out with a schoolboy. <laughs> Great. <laughs> she loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean it. You're really hurting me. David, I ought to give you a good talking to. But I'm just so glad you're all right. I'm willing to overlook this little incident. Now, come on. I want you to meet my friends. Hello, David. I'm Dorothy. This is Rose. Hello, David. Hey, what's happening? Hide her hair and ran off to Paris with an artist 10 years her junior. I just got a postcard last week. <laughs> yeah, and now she's miserable and bony and sick of eating snails, right? <laughs> no, they bought a beautiful home in Cannes. Rose! <laughs> Granted, not a great example. Thank you for proving my case. Blanche, that didn't happen on Mother's Day. That happened Christmas Day. 19... 1949. You're right. Hey, that was Christmas. You remembered, Mama. Shrimp is gone. <laughs> we can't, Sophia. Charlie Jr. hasn't called me yet to wish me a happy Mother's Day. No, and Michael hasn't called me yet. And Janet hasn't called me yet, although she usually doesn't. Oh, my children called me, except Phil. But I know he's thinking of me. He's just a little short of cash. Smaller than a hundred and we didn't have any change. What about these? Well, they all had hundreds, too. 
Rose, let me give you a few lessons in economics. Lesson number one, quit being an idiot. Okay. Lesson number two, the law of supply and demand. Before you... Michael, that's wonderful. Of course, of, co of course, Michael. It's, it's wonderful. It's just whew, kind of sudden. I know it seems sudden. Yeah. Lorraine is her name. She sings with the band. We've only been going out about four months, but I've never been so sure of anything in my life. Mom. Say, Tuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. Well, that's good. It'll keep you on your toes. <laughs> Too bad there won't be anything underneath them. <laughs> okay, we take off in five minutes. Right. Are you excited? <sighs> Dumbstruck. Oh, I know that feeling. <laughs> Not a problem. Coming here always used to cheer me up. <laughs> that's why I decided to come back and spend Christmas here. Oh, 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 oh. oh. By the way, let's get to the presents. I brought enough for everybody. <laughs> I cannot believe we're going to miss going home on account of him. Oh, there's nothing we can do. Okay, everybody, here's your presents. I really hope you... It's a gift. Keep it. Marguerite, if you're trying to bribe me, there's no need. As far as I'm concerned, you have the job. Fine with me. Oh, me too. Can you start tomorrow? I'll be here bright and early. Uh, we'll see you then. Right. Uh, you be sure and use that just like I told you now. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Bye now. Crowley is the moderator and the function, if Shut not up. to... <laughs> Sorry. Continuing with English history, fifth wife of Henry VIII. Who was Catherine Howard? Correct. I knew that. I knew the first one, I admit, was a bit of a fluke, but that one I knew. Okay. Switching captains always puts me in a romantic mood. Dorothy, did you ever make love on top of a mountain? No. The closest I ever came was making love on top of a fat guy called Old Smokey. <laughs> Let's check in. Rufus? <laughs> well, aren't you afraid of being humiliated on the tennis court, Dorothy? Me? Humiliated? I think you forget, Trudy, we have to wear tennis dresses. You're on, you pathetic middle-aged cow. I am looking forward to it, you miserable sack of cellulite. <laughs> the trip, but I was hoping that uh, you might let me invite you to lunch tomorrow. That is, if you're free. Oh, that would be wonderful. And if you have time, I'd like to show you around Miami. I'll pick you up around noon. Great. <laughs> Ladies, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, Rose, your ex. Say yes. I need a friendly shoulder to cry on. Oh, all right, give me a minute. Girls, I need a shoulder to cry on. Dorothy, what did that creep do to you? It's not for me, it's for Stan. He lost the business. He has to take his mind off his troubles. What do you want us to do with that award? <laughs> I'm sorry we're late, but we couldn't find the table. But then I recognized Dorothy's hacking. Everybody, this is Raul. It's a pleasure. Damn, Papa. Dorothy, how's Sophia doing? Oh, she's resting, but a hernia is painful. Well, honey, put your mind at ease. The operation today is just a minor procedure. And by the way, you have nothing to be guilty about. What? Well, I don't feel... Now, what do you think? I think Lisa Bonet spent more on the ring in her nose. <laughs> don't listen to her, Stanley. It's beautiful. I'm sure Catherine will love it. You mean it? Not a word. <laughs> Babe, it's a real diamond. What's wrong with it? I think the more appropriate question is, where is it? <laughs> Sad. Well, that's no excuse. Daddy obviously doesn't know what he's doing. He's lost his grip on reality. Oh, honey, maybe it's not as serious as you think. Maybe he's just going through a stage. My father is not off on some crazy lock, Dorothy. He sold our house and our land and everything he spent his lifetime building. <laughs> another game, Dorothy. No, honey, I don't feel like it. Why don't you play with Michael? Oh, he's not here. Oh, uh, where is he? While you and Sophia were at the market, the kids decided to go out. What, Michael asked Bridget out? Well, not exactly, no. I just happened to have some free tickets to the symphony, and they were sitting around here both... Which room's available? 
Number 506. The room is 50 and the young lady's 100. And make it quick. I'm not running a hotel here. <laughs> Mr. Salmon. Yes. Bring me a dream. <laughs> Believe me, he'd rather get it from me. He's been getting it from me all week. <laughs> what? Patrick swore me to secrecy, but I've just got to tell someone we're madly in love. We've been seeing each other ever since he got into town. Have a good show. <laughs> Fairly bought us those in 42. I didn't realize I still had those. Well, now, wait a minute. Are you telling me that St. Olaf printed its own war bonds? Yes. Oh, we were very patriotic. In late 42, we wanted to fund the development of a top-secret weapon that we were sure would end the war. Attack cows. <laughs> Even in church? <laughs> you know, I've been thinking... Oh, that would explain the beads of sweat. Maybe Dorothy's right. I guess I don't need a shopping spree to give me the Christmas spirit. My church is serving Christmas dinner to the thrust my breast forward. <laughs> Blanche. Honey, you always did look pretty when you held your breath. <laughs> Jamie. Well, Dodd, why do you look so stricken? It can't be... Understand little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got to make my peace, and I need some peace to do it. I'll be quiet. Thank you. Here are your beads, Ma. I found them in a can of peanut brittle. Of course, that's where I keep them. Uh, the paramedics. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? Huh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Raymond, I just can't. My mother needs me here. Dorothy, you are one hell of a daughter, but you're also a lousy girlfriend. Sorry. I think the best thing for you and me to do is not to see each other for a while. At least until your mother doesn't seem to need as much of your time. <laughs> we were just singing the baby to sleep. It was waking me up. Maybe we ought to go out in the kitchen so we can talk, so we can eat. Better. Ma, we're sorry our singing woke you. It wasn't you. I had a horrible nightmare. Oh, let's see how she did. <laughs> Help her out. Okay, Dorothy, let's see how you did. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, 900 dollars! You know, a oh, man. No. Yes! What about your father? You mean you never saw your father? <laughs> My father? Oh, no, my father! Oh, my goodness, no, I would have simply died. Oh, we might as well get used to the fact that she's going to be mad at us for a long, long time. Hi, girls. How y'all doing? Hi, Blanche. Aren't you mad? Not anymore. <laughs> well, we did a terrible thing. You should stay mad at us for a long, long time. <laughs> Club. Yeah, a bunch of us get together and send our pictures into Willard Scott with a note saying we're a hundred. <laughs> Ma, that's ridiculous. You got a better way to get on the Today Show? <laughs> Will you take it inside, Rose? This isn't the French Quarter. Oh, Laszlo, that's what I love about you. You can tell a bald-faced lie and still sound sincere. <laughs> I forgot my compact. I'll be right back. Give me that key. <laughs> my bullhorn. 
Oh, this is the only thing I have left from my one day as a mountain rangerette. <laughs> hey, you! Get out of the pass! This is avalanche country! <laughs> What about this? You still want this old camera? Where did you find that? That was Charlie's camera. And it's tried in the sink. <laughs> I guess everybody's a little jumpy about the banquet. Yeah, except Blanche. You know, she could at least have the good taste to pretend that she can't sleep. Well, she's probably nervous about running into Jake. You know, sometimes when people are under prate... Why can't you people see that there's another point of view? Now, just, get away from here. We've got to work. Get your hands off me! What's mad at you? Oh, well... I, I can accept that if you're still going to give me another chance because I still want to try to be the best grandma in the whole world. Does this mean I can start calling you grandma again? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> oh, well, it turns out he was a rat. <laughs> you know, I once prepared a six-course meal with what I thought was chicken, but it turned out to be Ma. a... <laughs> Rose, in my heart, I cannot believe that Miles is a rat. He just fell in with the wrong people, that's all. Now, look, I... Is Adolf Hitler? Where's my history book? <laughs> is this the man we're talking yes, about? Yes, that is Adolf Hitler. You can call him whatever you want, but that's Fritz Stickelmeyer. <laughs> I'm as sure of that... Ma, it's getting late. Do you have to stay and visit with every one of them? Excuse me for trying to get more involved in their lives. Well, that's fine, Ma, but did we really have to worm Mrs. Jenkins' dog? <laughs> I always just leave this one outside the door. Really? It's been that way since I took over. The... <laughs> it's so good to finally meet you, Blanche. Your father's told me so much about you. Oh, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> Margaret, please, sir, sit down. Maybe we ought to get her a booster seat. <laughs> uh, can I get you a drink? How about chocolate milk? I'm sorry, am I interrupting? Not at all. Rose and I were just about to go and see if we can fit into our bathing suits yet. Blaine says we might have better luck if we sprayed our fannies with Pam. <laughs> I'd forgotten how. Sure. <laughs> yes, may I come in? Oh, please, 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 come right in. Uh, may I take your height? A hat. Thank you. <laughs> you must be Dorothy. Rose has told me all about you. <laughs> I wish I could say the same. I want Leon off the team. Now, I don't care if he is six foot eleven and weighs three hundred pounds. The boy can't spell his own name unless he copies it off his jersey. <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to tell him. You tell him. You're the coach. Dean Tucker. Come in. Come in. Yeah, look, we'll, we'll talk about it later. So good to see you, Sophia. So good to see you. Ah, and this must be Dorothea. Eh? <laughs> you know, you probably don't really remember, but over 50 years ago, I held you naked in my arms. <laughs> and you peed on his suit. <laughs> Margaret Weinstein did the same thing when they changed her medication. <laughs> Do you think she could take Dorothy's place in the recital? Oh, come on. <laughs> Honey, I'll be fine by next week. Maybe you should have it checked by a doctor. Oh, come on. It's a very simple thing that comes and goes. I've had it for years. I mean, it's agents. I have class. And you know what else I have? It's not self-awareness, that's for damn sure. <laughs> hey, listen to this. Older gentleman seeks lady of refinement. I like moonlit nights, romantic Italian dinners, and waking up in the morning. <laughs> oh! Rose. Oh, Rose. Grow up. Oh, so big. 
a gentleman. I realize this time it's only Stan, but next time it could be somebody appealing or charming or at least reasonably good looking. No offense, Stan. I'm taken. <laughs> Dorothy, could we talk for a minute? Of course, for a minute. Come on. You bring your wife with you, or did you make her stay home and clean out her toy box? <laughs> well, nobody knows me. I can't believe you. Are you ever going to get over my being a single mother? Well, it's just that I have a reputation in this town. Cheesecake, Mom. <laughs> well, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. You don't sound... Feelander attempted to harass me repeatedly. What do you mean he attempted to? He worked at Lars Erickson's drugstore and tackle shop. He was a soda jerk. Now that I think about it, he was the town jerk. <laughs> Every Saturday afternoon, I'd go in and have a Sunday. Well, Nils would arrange the ice cream... Nice to meet you, too. Dorothy's done nothing but talk about you for weeks. Rose. <laughs> Every time she mentions your name, she practically glows. Rose. <laughs> I think she's really very smitten with you. Rose. <laughs> He's a priest, isn't he? Yes. And I hope I'm good at it. I don't have that much experience with women. A big, strong, handsome thing like you get out of here. Well, it was nice meeting all of you. That was an expression, Spell. You know, I never thought I'd say I've missed her so much. She's always been my favorite. I tell you, it sure makes me appreciate the special relationship I have with my daughter. Pussycat. Yes, Ma. Dial your sister for me. I never remember the area code. <laughs> Go up and see her right away. Oh, thank you. Oh, she's... She's going to be all right. Stanley, come on, let's go see her. No, no, no. You go. You two should be alone. I'll stay here and clean up. I'll stop by later. Stan, thank you for standing by me. I don't know how I could have done it without you. Hey. Oh, now, what the hell is going on? Let me tell you something I've never told a living soul. When I was unconscious, hovering between life and death, I began a journey toward a great white light. <laughs> Along the way were all the people who went before me. I saw my parents. I saw your father. I saw the Ritz brothers. What happened to two? Oh, who cares, Glenn? <laughs> Hey, and once you're here happily ever after, it's over. <laughs> well, Dorothy, did you get anything out of this? Actually, I did get an idea. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Ma away for the weekend to a cabin in the Florida Keys. Ma, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> what did she just say, Dorothy? Was that a poem? <laughs> Rose, make her lie down. Well, I do try. I try, but I just pop right up again like one of those clowns you hit. I'll never rest. I'll never rest again. Have a good time, Dorothy. Buy me a present. <laughs> Whatever happened to her? She colonized life on Venus. <laughs> She was 94 when I was six. She died, you idiot. God? What is it? You're Dan and Morothy. <laughs> Wild and crazy names? Carol, this is a different Dan and Morothy. You mean these aren't the two nuts who couldn't stop seeing each other? Dan, a sex-crazed nudnik with occasional performance problems, and Morothy, a... If you carried out that vendetta... What are you talking about? This was an 80s vendetta. It was all symbolic. You find the guy, drop a fish on his doorstep, boom, you wash your hands of the whole thing. Mom, wait a minute, wait a minute. If that's all you did, how come your purse is still over there? Oh, well, maybe I did leave one for it, and the name is Blanche Devereaux. Why would you name a room Blanche Devereaux? <laughs> oh, it's been such a lovely day. 
Mr. Sunshine really gave us one of his biggest and brightest smiles. Oh, I feel like putting my arms around Mother Nature and giving her a big kiss. I idea how to keep her entertained. Honey, the important thing is to spend time with her. Why don't you do something that both of you enjoy? Why don't you take her to the movies, to the beach? Why don't you take her to the petting zoo? The petting zoo? Dorothy, even I don't go to that club anymore. <laughs> No, not Susan Anton. Even my husband didn't believe me on my wedding night when I told him he was the first. But George wasn't your first. Well, he didn't know that. <laughs> the point is, he didn't believe me. Look, Blanche. Blanche, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it was heavenly. But before I tell you about my weekend, I want to hear all about yours. You're looking at it. All I did was sit. Blanche was all over me like a cheap slut. I think you mean soup. Not necessarily. <laughs> but you know, this proves something. Left to herself, Blanche. Are you sure this is the right place? No, but it was the only address we could find in Pepe's room. Oh, I still feel uncomfortable about going through Pepe's things. Me too. Although it was kind of exciting opening his closet and seeing his little boxing trunks hanging there with that provocative nickname on them. The kids from burning the school down before the other teacher gets back. No, normally you'd be right, but this class knows that I'm filling in for the whole semester. I must say, it's really nice having the same class every day and watching them grow and learn. And of course, they're not trying any of that usual substitute shenanigans. <laughs> Look, I'm not going out with him. You go, Blanche. What? Well, you like him. I know you do. So you go. What? Well, I couldn't. Of course she couldn't. You stay out of this, dog. <laughs> What? Enough already. I'm not going to play cards with you anymore. Why not? Why should I? You're the only one who gets any enjoyment out of it. Ah, cards bore me to tears. <laughs> then why do you play? I like the talking. The what? The talking. You and I had some of our best talks over a game of gin rummy. I don't know why. It just seems... Sophia, if you knew now what I knew then... Ah, so what? If you've got something to say, spit it out, Weinstock. Don't push me or I will. <laughs> there, I pushed. Too bad you weren't on a flight of stairs. Uh, ma, Ma, you're creating a scene. Look, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that's very funny, Rose. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. I passed this burger joint around the corner. Look like there might be some kids here. Oh, but, Dollar, wait a minute. You just got here. Oh, I'd really prefer you to stay. I planned a special meal for you, David. Uh, tomorrow. I love leftovers. Well, what time will you be back? Under her money on bad investments. It's true, I did it. I guess you two don't know me as well as you think you do. Okay, all we've done is fight for the last three weeks. What do you say we call a truce? Okay. A truce. Oh, hi. Hi, hi Tony. Tony. You know him? Know him? He's my boyfriend. That's my new roommate. Something blue? Uh, Here. Oh, this is blue. Oh, you. These earrings are old. They were my grandmother's. Thank you. Here, I borrowed these knee-high surgical stockings on the bus. Ma. Here, Lorraine. Oh. That's everything but the new. Morning, Ma. How you feeling? I'm not sure. What did we have for dinner last night? Mexican. Oh, then I'm okay. <laughs> Hi, girls. <laughs> Guess where I'm going? For a little? He's not my doctor. He's my friend. Oh. Oh, no, olive, olive. The bottle, please. Ah, uh, thank you, dear. Listen, Harry. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you what it means to have someone like you believe me. Give me. Meet you. Lunch is all set up out on the lanai. Your father tells me you're a classical musician. What do you play? The English horn. 
I didn't know horns had nationalities. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense if jumping beans can be Mexican and fire drills can be Chinese and flies can be special. This is something. How about you and I go out sometime, huh? Dorothy, I really want to see you again. I really want to see you again, too. Great. But I can't. Why not? Because I could get serious about you. Well, I don't get it. Al, up until the other night, I thought this whole thing was a game, but... Success. It could give me a shot at becoming Kendall Nesbitt's new assistant. Who's Kendall Nesbitt? Oh, he's the museum's director of acquisitions. If I got this job, it would mean going to Europe with him to look for rare paintings and antiques. Well, if he has an eye for antiques, you should be a shoo-in. <laughs> to Rose, but I'm glad she wasn't here when I dropped by today. Well, Mildred, what a sweet thing to say. That must be why I date more than she does. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant what I said about that diet of yours. Men of our generation like a little meat on their women. <laughs> Maybe uh, you don't want to pinch an inch, but I do. Mildred, <laughs> No questions asked. She's gonna blow it. <laughs> Okay, Paul, we'll see you at the rally on Pier 5. Oh, the dolphin will really appreciate it. Oh, isn't this exciting taking part in a pro... We have something to talk to you about. We are worried about you. Now, maybe it's none of our business, but all that time that you spend with those pathetic wimps from the center, you should spend looking for a job. But those wimps need me. But, Rose, honey, you have your own problems. Look, you are 55, unemployed, your husband is dead... We're not late. Uh, Rose, listen, we have something to tell you. This is amazing. This is so amazing to think I'm giving a press conference and next week we all go to Moscow. Yeah. Can you believe it, Dorothy? No, but then again, I can't believe that God wanted Jerry Falwell to go down that water slide in a cheap suit. <laughs> if you're both going, I'm going too. I have just as much chance of winning as you do. You have done some good work, Dorothy. But not enough people like you. <laughs> Sorry. Bob, what do you think? Do I have a chance of winning? Absolutely. Oh. As long as... Uh, uh, you sure you're not going to say I told you so? You're a good person, Dorothy. You want some? Oh, wonderful. Half a pound of cholesterol. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to go take a ride and look at our swamp? I just got back from my session and I've got some great news. Ma, it's over. He is gone. He is out of our lives forever. Yeah, forever. Forever like my husband, Sal. <laughs> what is everyone's problem around here? Ma, I'm talking about Stan. Joanne Pescatori. She's coming to Miami for a visit. Joanne Pescatori? Tori, didn't she own that little candy store down the street from us in Brooklyn? That was Jeanette Pasadano. Oh. Then who was Joanne Pascatori? How the hell should I know? This letter's for Rose. <laughs> Ma, why are you reading Rose's mail? In the museum, so I understand these things. You see, now, for instance, this slash of color of red across the bottom, well, that represents the setting sun, and this jagged blue line, now, that signifies the ocean. And then this spot of orange up here in the corner, that stands for the planets and man's eternal struggle against nature and the earth. <laughs> My, that's ridiculous. Here, take a sip. this stuff really works. I gotta remember what I put in this. A beautiful young peasant girl with clear olive skin meets an exciting but penniless Spanish artist. There's an instant attraction. They laugh, they sing, they slam down a few boilermakers. Shortly afterwards, he's arrested for showing her how he can hold... ...have trouble believing it exists since they're not able to see it under their microscopes just yet. Those colleagues of mine, unfortunately, tend to blame the victim. I can't tell you what a relief this is. I'm sure. Are there any other questions that I could answer for you? Not now, not that I can think of. Maybe later. Right now, I, I can't even think. The other team are the X's, and you're all O's. It's easy to remember. 
is the number of points you scored this season. <laughs> now, the tight end decoys, so it looks like we're running a draw play, and then he slips into a soft spot in the zone over the middle, the flanker fakes a screen, then prep you for surgery in about an hour. Until then, just relax. There aren't enough drugs in the entire building. I hope my exercising doesn't bother you. No, not at all. What is it, some kind of therapy you have to do? No, I just like to stay healthy. I have to break this to you, Bonnie. You're in a hospital. The exercises aren't working. Blanche, I don't think you're going to have to worry. It's not going to happen. Has anybody seen a small bottle of pills? Brown bottle? Patents Pharmacy labeled your name on the prescription? Yeah. Never saw it. Ma? All right, yesterday I was looking for the oregano and accidentally knocked them into the sink. I forgot all about it. Uh, uh, Blanche. I don't know why you took a cab from the airport. <laughs> Blanche. You should have called me. I would have picked you up. Blanche. Uh -huh. This is Doug. He's my friend. My very special friend. Well, any friend of Clay's. <laughs> also. Isn't it what? <laughs> I like to pretend one of them's you and one of them's Dorothy. <laughs> Hi, Dorothy. How you feel? <laughs> oh, woe is me. I can't get a date. Nobody asked me out. Woe is me. Woe. Oh, I bought those big illustrated storybooks all the time. And I'll bet your kids loved them. No, nah, they had their own books. <laughs> Ma, you've been in there for 20 minutes. Now, what are you doing? Oh, it's Christmas. Look, please have some cheesecake on oh. me, all right? Oh, well, that's mm. very sweet My pleasure. Yeah. Now I know I'm depressed. I don't even want this cheesecake. Are you ladies having a bad Christmas? Mm. Oh, worse. Nah, I'm a little down myself. I mean, it's tough working on Christmas Eve. I wish I had a little time to spend with my family. Oh, we know exactly how you feel. We never said before. Dorothy, this isn't on Golden Pond. <laughs> I know, Mom. And you're not Jane Fonda. All right. <laughs> Major point. Quality time has to come naturally. It happens when you're not thinking about it. Like, when we're cutting vegetables together, that's quality time. I was hoping for something a little more magical than that. <laughs> Let me check. Dorothy, where's the cheese? Right turn, left turn, right turn. Must find the cheese. Must find the cheese. Dorothy? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, Rose. Rose, may I ask you a question? Uh, a purely hot. Oh, dear. Why did you lie to my mother? Oh, I didn't want to lie. <laughs> We were going to tell the truth as soon as we were sure that Sophia was the one we wanted. Then it is true. <laughs> you wanted my mother for sex games. I was sit and feel sorry for myself, which is what I did all the time. But you got better. Yeah, because she stopped coddling me. She screamed, she hollered day and night. She made me do my therapy. She forced me to rebuild my life because she knew I could. And for that, I'll always be grateful. Ah, uh, thanks, Ma. I only have one question. All night talking. Uh, I'm going to bed. She doesn't feel like talking. But I got chocolate macadamia nut cheesecake and run rays and ice cream. Oh, all right. Start cutting, you scoop. Ah, oh, that's my girl. So, did you decide what you're going to do? No. Oh, my luck. <laughs> well, in that case... Yeah. Is this the Venuccio residence? It is. You're dying, not when you're on vacation. <laughs> I've waited my whole life to ride Space Mountain and nothing, you hear me? Nothing is gonna stop me. Why are you always taking her side? <laughs> Dorothy, do you feel like talking? Oh, honey, if it can wait until morning, I'd really appreciate it. I'm exhausted. Sure, I am too. Let's just get some sleep. Oh, Dorothy. Listen, this is not just going to go away, Rose. I know. 
But I think the first step is for me to make that call. These years. Oh, I wonder why Italian men are so romantic. It's the tight pants, Rose. <laughs> So tell me, who would you sign me up to bowl with? Oh, I wanted to talk to you about that. Well, I am stunned. <laughs> Just. <laughs> oh, that, that was a snap. I thought this was going to be a challenge, but, you know, then again, I've always been a student of history. Uh, maybe history has never been uh, yours. Miss Bornack? Exactly. <laughs> Can we continue? I'm afraid this is the point where Alex would politely tell you to shut up. Oh. He would, and he should. I mean, after all. That lighthearted laughter. That devil-may-care attitude. Sophia, when was Dorothy ever like that? Never. I've been asking her these questions since she's 12. <laughs> Dorothy, you can't help it if you're dull and boring. God did that to give the world some variety. <laughs> Otherwise, everybody would be just like me. <laughs> What's your poem? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Go on. Well, Dorothy, you have no idea how my sister Virginia and I used to chase after this boy. Well, everybody did. He had it all. Football star, champion debater, class valedictorian. How long did you and he... <laughs> Buenos dias, Dorotheo. <laughs> that means hello, Dorothy, in Spanish. You've really taken command of the language, haven't you, Rose? Si. <laughs> oh, darn, someone's late. Dorothy will have to give her speech all over again. Hi, everybody. Trudy? I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Is that... I don't get it, Blanche. This isn't like you. Come on. Gary calls at the last minute, cancels your date. You're not the least bit upset or suspicious. Well, don't they give me some credit? What kind of person would doubt a man whose mother needs emergency gallbladder surgery? Come to a major decision. Oh. <laughs> and it's a decision that affects both of us. Oh. <laughs> Sit down. Close your eyes, and I'll give you a hint. Okie dokie. Hi, Mom. Mom, th this Don't is... tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me it's Dennis. Oh, my God, he's beautiful. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, flowers. Oh, my. You know, your father used to bring me tulips. That was a wonderful dinner. It was a birthday I shall never forget. <laughs> well, this one isn't over yet. It's time for your present. Oh, hello, Fay Ray. Bring on the plane. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about an actual gift. Oh, an actual gift. <laughs> what happened, Ida? I didn't know. Nobody told me that it cost money to get old. I just figured that was one thing you'd get for free. It isn't. The home costs money. The doctors cost money. Medicine costs... Wait a minute. There is not one shred of evidence, not one logical reason why I should not believe that this woman is my mother or that Gina is her real daughter. Buongiorno. I'm a Gina. Sleep, what do you want? Open the door, Stanley. Dorothy, you're, you're in your nightgown. I came here on an impulse. I couldn't help myself. Well, it's really a nice gesture, babe, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a rain check. <laughs> Stanley, you truly are one chrome... I thought you were lonely. I thought you needed me. I did, and you were there, just like always. I love you, pussycat. But hey, I got my own life to live. Adios. Call me. 
Looks kind of lavender to me. Oh, I hated those drapes. Lavender's a great color on me. Brings out my eyes. Your eyes aren't lavender. Girls! <laughs> Blanche, who's the father? The father? Gee, I don't know. <laughs> well, you'd better figure it out. When was your fertile period? Oh. <laughs> She's, uh, she's pretty uptight. I'm gonna have fun teasing her tonight. <laughs> Why don't we just start then? Oh, good. What are we having? Short rib. Sunday dinner. Help himself to some food. Take it into the living room. Turn on one of those radio countdown shows and belch to the music. <laughs> Well, finally, my mother told me that I just had to break it off, and of course, I knew she was right. So I rehearsed my speech, and I made arrangements to meet him at a coffee. <laughs> Jeremy, be serious. Mama, Jeremy's asked me to marry him, and I've said yes. <laughs> you are happy for me, Mama, aren't you? Happy. Happy, honey. Oh. Happy isn't the word for it. <laughs> Oh, my God, girls, oh, my God, look. Look, what, what, look, what? look, look, all the men on this plane, they're all behold. <laughs> it's all right, Blanche. The captain just turned off the note. We always keep it. Honey, the table looks fine, but with her complexion, those yellow garden lights make Dorothy look like Eric Severod. <laughs> Out of St. Dominic, Sophia Petrillo feels lucky tonight. Oh, right. Tonight's the big bingo game, isn't it? The biggest. I got my lucky handkerchief. I can't lose. Where did you find it? In my bra. <laughs> Back in law school. Oh. <laughs> now it's time for an update on our biggest and most important charity fundraiser of the year, the annual hospital variety show benefit. I'd like to call on our chairman, Dorothy Sabornak, for an update. Dorothy? I called. I canceled. What do you mean? We are not giving away Fluffy, Muffy, Buffy, and Joanne. <laughs> Rose, they are non-breeding minks who eat their weight in food every day. Joanne! We are not giving them away, Dorothy. I mean, this is their home They now. eat their weight in food every day? When I'm depressed, so do I. In a fight, they would have stopped it. <laughs> Did he do any of his own material? Oh, he did his own material, all right. A tribute to Dorothy. Dot, dot, what a girl I got. <laughs> the last words I heard as I sprinted to my car were when we shower together, we... <laughs> miss. Miss his deadline. Ooh, Mr. Gordon. Oh, all right. I admit it, I do have a little crush. <laughs> but his kiss just took me by surprise. You know, at first I didn't think he was going Okay, here I go. Hello. Oh, my God, no! All right, so he's not a 10. Blanche, honey, please. Oh, my God, what in hell? Why do you look like that? I don't believe this. Well, Blanche, Blanche, who is this? If I didn't know better. Oh, hello, Rose. Oh, Blanche, you won't believe what happened to me today. It was so exciting. I've been waiting for somebody to come home so long, I thought I was going to burst. Well, you won't believe what happened to me today in the dean's office. I was driving down Biscayne Boulevard listening to WREQ, the big band. That'll... Can you get those, honey? Sure, Mom. Thank you for inviting us to stay with you. Oh, thank you for these lovely gifts. <laughs> what are you going to do with yours? It's a log. I'm going to burn it. <laughs> Dorothy, you're not moving. It reminds me of our wedding night. I don't want to dance with you. Dorothy, please, this is really important. Today, Ted called the airline and booked two seats for Acapulco. What does that mean to you? That he doesn't have a truck. Look what we were both about to do. We got on the ship. Most people never even leave shore. You mean that? Of course I do. You and I still have a lot of adventures left in us. So many things we haven't tried. Have you 
ever been to Space Mountain at Disney? Now look, Rose... Wait, what about the dress Jamie Farr promised is from MASH? No, it hasn't come yet. But he promised. Honey, we have a lot of other stuff. It's okay. No, it's not. He let you down. Well, well, I'm not surprised. You couldn't trust Klinger on guard duty and you can't trust him now. Rose, (laughs) take it easy. Oh, I'm the one who's supposed to take it easy. Where am I supposed to sit again? Oh, anywhere you damn well please. What the hell difference does a night now? Oh, so first you were a teacher, and then you decided to become a priest. Uh, actually, first I went to medical school for a year, then I quit. <laughs> Let's go to Emilio's. <laughs> T-minus 10 seconds, Oh, Dorothy. Ma, will you give Nine, it up? Eight, you are not seven, dying. Six, there is not five, going to be a four, doorbell. There three, is not going two, to be a pop. One. There is not going to be anything. I mean, oh, goodness, no, of course I knew that. I'm not blind. <laughs> <laughs> not that there's anything wrong in that. Mm. Of co- co- course, there's nothing so good about it either. <laughs> Could we just go? Great. <laughs> what restaurant are we headed to? Oh, Harvey's at the shore. Do you know it? No, I don't. Oh, you'll love it. It has a gorgeous view. Menopause was wonderful for me. It meant no more PMS. I never had PMS. Neither did I. But I had a BMW. (laughs) A red one. Charlie bought it for me. PMS! Premenstrual syndrome, Rose. You mean you never got crazy once? Oh, leave it. There's a married dead man in my bed. Serves him right. Ma. He lied to her. I don't know why they do that. Don't they know we'll sleep with him anyway? <laughs> well, what am I going to do? I can't tell her her husband died in my bed. Tell her you want to turn on the... Exist. Have you tried telling them how you feel? They wouldn't listen. I'm listening. Yeah, only because they dump me on you and you feel you have to. No. Well, you don't have to. David, but just no. leave me alone. Dorothy, they're delicious. You just have to know how to eat them. You hold your nose with one hand and you pop a crispy in your mouth with the other. Mm. Mm. That tastes like cheesecake, fresh strawberries, and chocolate ice cream. Mm. Yes. Well, I'm almost ready to go. Today? You're not going today. Why didn't you tell us? Because every time I bring it up, one of you tries to talk me out of it. We were just being selfish. We didn't want to lose you. There's my ride. Oh, so beautiful. Yep, it's a Granada full of... You're kidding. Please. There's a natural build to these kind of stories. <laughs> Sorry. So, finally, the race was underway. I start off slow. I'm cagey like a panther. But when the time is right, I pounce. The crowd is on its feet. Sophia, Sophia. (laughs) Yes, I feel just as bad as you do. Oh, yeah. Did you have an angry Viking yelling Scandinavian swear words at you on the phone this morning? My guess would be no. (laughs) Rose, as I told you last night, your cousin is a very sensitive man. I just have to find the right time and place, and I'll let him down. Away with it. Same reason the dog licks himself, Dorothy. <laughs> because he can. Where's Stan? That wasn't Stan at the door. Oh, who was it? Now, Dorothy, just stay calm. Just relax and don't do anything you'll be... Oh, my God, Stan, you're not taking your monkey, are you? Please, they are Japanese investors. The last thing I would do would be to offend them. She'll be at a separate table with the other wives. No, no, Mrs. Gutman. Honestly, there's no hurricane coming. I mean, after she left, the town didn't have a professional beautician for years. (laughs) Women started giving each other home perms. Pretty soon, everybody looked like Art Garfunkel. Husbands stopped sleeping with their wives. The population started to go down. Got to get in touch with Molly Safer? I wonder who that could be. Maybe it's the Count's clarinet player, Henny Goodman. <laughs> Aunt Angela! No, Sophia Loren, I stopped using oil of Olay. <laughs> Angela! 
去了。<笑>
What you doing, Rose? Oh, Myra's been calling me at work and threatening me, so I'm fixing a flashlight so I can walk out to my car at night, you know, in case she's planning on surprising me. Good! Just when I was little, I didn't have to do anything. And I raised my daughter the same way. So that's why David is the way he is now, so it's all my fault. Oh, now, Blanche, you can't blame yourself for David. You're right. It's my mother's fault. <laughs> I am going to give this list to David and see that he starts right away. <laughs> One afternoon, I thought I saw Pat Sajak riding side saddle on a dolphin. I'm going to get something to eat. Oh, yeah, good idea. There's that salad in the fridge. Sophia? You no, know, I have to finish this. Oh. Knit one, pearl two. Five, six, seven, eight. It certainly is. Oh, well, this is great. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a big shower and a beautiful wedding out on the lanai. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> you know, from here on in, I guess I'm going to have to get used to calling you Dorothy's Bornack. <laughs> Rose, you've always called me Dorothy. Oh, oh, come on. Now, Blanche, you're behaving just as crazy as we are. It's just a coincidence. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure your seat belts are securely fastened in preparation for the takeoff. And if anyone found a big bolt, please return it to me. It, it came off the bed. Well, the town would have gone under if Oslo's most famous hairstylist, Vidal Sassbogadotter, <laughs> hadn't relocated his shop in St. Olaf because of our more favorable tax laws. Now, you see why I don't like plastic surgery? Calm down, calm down. What's wrong? These two are driving me crazy. They drink milk off the floor, they scratch the furniture, and this one just coughed up a fur ball. <laughs> It was not a fur ball. Well, it was Rose, a who cares what it was? Now quit driving Ma crazy. Dorothy, our director said... I think I'm going to cry. I think they should both be committed. <laughs> Magic words. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rose Nyland, and I'm responsible for what's happened here tonight. Uh, because of a silly, childish dream, I let you all down. I had this crazy idea that I had a special connection to a... So then I went up to the podium and I said, my name is Dorothy and I have a gambling problem. You know, when I left Gamblers Anonymous 15 years ago, I, I thought I'd never have to say those words again. Well, let's hope this time you get cured. No, oh, you're never really cured, Rose. Dr. Elliot Clayton has bonged every female member of the country club. Can you let that happen to Dorothy? Can you let that happen to little Mei Ling? Hasn't she suffered enough? Not as much as I have listening to that story. Oh. Forget the story. Oh, I'm fine. I just had a dream. We were all in Moscow. It was snowing, and we were all wearing fake furs. <laughs> I guess I'm just nervous about that press conference tomorrow. I've never had a press conference before. <laughs> the idea of all those reporters coming to the house. Come again. They're, they're, they are great kids. Uh, one of them plays with matches and stuff, but you don't smoke, do you? <laughs> Teddy, you old stud. <laughs> I mean, you hang around the master long enough, you're going to pick up a few tricks. We wouldn't even look like ourselves. What's your point? Ma, you are not helping matters. We are trying to think of a way we can make ourselves look better for that party. Okay, let me think. It's too bad we're not back home. There's no place like Sicily. Why do you say that, Sophia? Because in Sicily, I could solve this whole problem. Grand investment, that's a $7,000 profit. Peppy gets the stand at 20%, and we're left with a tidy sum for only one week's work. So 20% is standard for a boxer? It is if he doesn't speak English. <laughs> Ma, that's it. Forget it. Take him back. To where? Customer service? <laughs> Nonsense. I want you to take it back this second. Jamie. What? You called me George. Well, 
Don't you think I would know if I had called you Jamie George? I mean, I mean George, Jamie. Oh, well, Jamie George, what's the difference? There is a difference, Blanche. In 1914, I promised our dear sainted mother on a deathbed I'm going to join the priesthood. On my way to the seminary in Palermo, I stop off in a local trattoria for a glass of Chianti. The waiter is to bring a drink to the table. It's a... <laughs> Yo! Oh, oh, listen, uh... Ted, I, I hate to <laughs> interrupt. <laughs> what was all that sweet talk about your having a crush on me? Well, I, I did, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, but what about last night? <laughs> the hell with this town. Come away with me. But Biff. You're a drifter. How can I just pull up stakes and run off with you? Please reconsider. Chicken? Count Bessie is a showbiz chicken. Where do you see this? A showbiz chicken. What's she do? Play the piano? <laughs> she plays the piano. <laughs> you just wait till you see this. Okay, honey, come on, it's showtime. <laughs> Did all that stuff come out of your purse? No, I was also cleaning out my ears. That's where the phenom and the rain bonnet came from. <laughs> Sophia, why are you in such a bad mood? Forgive me, Rose, but I haven't had sex in 15 years and it's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> oh, and uh, you certainly do have a pretty place here. Oh, yeah, who wouldn't love it? <laughs> well, bye-bye, Rose. Bye. Hello. Front door. Uh, hello, front door. Did two I was with him thinking, what in the world is this man like about me? So you went back to Tom because you know what he likes. Yes, but the whole time I was with him, I was miserable because I wanted to be with John. Well, then tell all this to John. I guess that is my only choice. Yes, I'm going to look him up tonight and I'm going to patch things up. Change Kevin's grade. I mean, this isn't worth it. I can't put my family through this. I thought I could make a difference. I can't. They win. Thank you, Dorothy. That makes me feel better. That's good, Ma. Dorothy, can we have a big screen TV? No. <laughs> Dorothy, please, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I, I can't say no to Lily. I have to go. Oh, I mean, I said no to her when she asked me to come live with her, but I can't say no when she asked me to come visit. And I know she's going to ask me to come live with her again, and I'm just going to say no. <laughs> I think. I'm such a wreck. You know, you could just cancel your reservation and think it over one more day. No. I think... <laughs> My pleasure, meal ticket. It was at that point that I realized his head was coming toward me. <gasps> Were his eyes open or closed? Open! <gasps> oh. And then he landed. I thought, oh, Mr. Gordon, oh, if only Cynthia Costello would... Joanne Pescatore, she's coming to Miami for a visit. Joanne Pascatori, didn't she own that little candy store down the street from us in Brooklyn? That was Jeanette Pasadano. Oh, then who was Joanne Pascatori? How the hell should I know? This letter's for Rose. <laughs> Ma, why are you reading Rose's mail? Electric blanket. Every time I call you, it seems you have a cold. Well, it'll call more often. <laughs> Don't pick on your sister. Here, she brought you something. It's a gift certificate for a complete makeover at Elizabeth Arden's. Maybe now you can get a date. <laughs> Please, Ma, I'm not calling Captain. It can be so much fun, I will never forget mine. I was the most successful person there. What? Blanche, didn't you go to school with that brilliant doctor who won the Nobel Prize? Oh, yes, but she let her looks go to hell. <laughs> You do sound excited, Dorothy. Well, I am, I am, but mostly it's about seeing Trudy again. Money <laughs> was the legitimacy and the honesty and the reality that they brought to almost every episode and the juxtapositions of some very serious stuff that we did over the years. Um, uh, with... And I saw the whole thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> 16 was a very difficult age for me. My hormones were racing, my body was blossoming. 
I had urges and yearnings so strong. Sometimes I'd wake up in the middle of the night just sweating and screaming and clawing like a trapped panther, unable to release... What the hell is that? We just got a pledge for $20. Oh, let's go to the top board. Drum roll. <laughs> so when I turned 17, I told my father that I wanted to take acting lessons. What did he say? No. <laughs> Great story, Rose. But you know what? Hollywood's not a bad idea. Well, what do you say? And if you end up in a puddle tonight, well, you just better break into singing in the rain. <laughs> Over. Yeah, 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 right. You're starting over because you've lost all of your... Constraint, my ties. <laughs> I feel like now I can begin to live again. I can do anything. I can even do what you... What is it you do again, Dorothy? I'm a substitute teacher. Oh, no, I'd be a real teacher. Thurber, I don't believe I quite understand your problem. Well, then I guess I don't have a problem. Mr. Thurber, this is a crisis center. I'm a trained counselor. Blanche, aren't you even going to try to sleep? I'm too upset. Oh, Dorothy, let's face it. I'm not 16 anymore. There's no longer a line of bows out on the front porch waiting to ask Daddy if they can walk me down. No more cotillions, no more sorority parties. I just lost the... Hi, Sophia. Remember me? Stan's brother, Ted? I danced with you at their wedding. Where were you when they got divorced? I was looking for someone to dance with then. <laughs> Ted, what a surprise! It's great oh, to see you again. Oh. What about me, babe? Go hug a landmine. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Bye, bye. Bye, bye bye. Come back Goodbye. soon. Bye bye. <laughs> we forgot something. We forgot to get a new place. <laughs> You're kidding. Don't worry about it. We just need a roof over our heads for a couple of days while we look. Doesn't have to be anything fat. I've had the rug pulled out from under mine. Oh, sweetheart, I, I had no choice. But Rose, I want you to know. But the one thing I was never faking was the way I feel about you. How can I believe you? How can I believe anything you've ever said to me? Look, I, I know it sounds awful, but it's not. I can be free. I can go back to Chicago. She hasn't seen me in years. I can't wait to see the look on her face. <laughs> you could wait six months. It wouldn't change. <laughs> It's been almost two hours. We can't keep up this charade. Somebody has got to go in there and get Dorothy to come out and break the news. But she's so fragile right now. We have to be there. Uh, the Pope is saying a mass on his stop over here. Ma got two tickets. We're going together. Oh, a papal mass is something people wait a lifetime for. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Is that Pope related or just another bark in the kennel? <laughs> The Pope, I traded our two bad tickets way in the back. Uh, look, uh, everybody named after an apostle, come with me. <laughs> Excuse me, there was no Eddie. Uh, have you guys ever heard of Totally Hidden Video? Well, underneath this gray wig is comedian Kay Ballard. Thanks for being on our show. <laughs> Got your father call for me and proved to you I'm not totally crazy. Ma, remember, it's only a carving. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Hey, I may be fading, but that's the sweetest thing that man ever did for me. I know that heart's behind the door. <laughs> You're not serious, Blanche. Oh, sure I am. Breasts are back in fashion. <laughs> and what God didn't give me, Dr. Myron Rosenzweig will. <laughs> Oh, that man is the Picasso of plastic surgeons. Uh, well, just be sure he doesn't attach one of them to your forehead. Baseball? 
was meant to be seen from the bleachers and small, intimate parks with real grass. If there's anything I hated, is artificial turf. That never stopped you from wearing it on your head. <laughs> Sophie, I'm having too much fun to be bothered by your insults. Are you comfy, babe? Yeah. You know, this must be my lucky day. Ma, I'm sorry to interrupt this uh, flag-waving psychotic tribute to our country, but I think you need a hearing aid. Oh, please, I have the hearing of a spring of spaniel. Look, Ma, I am concerned. You're my mother. Can't you just check it out, please? <laughs> Up to this right now, and then once every two hours. Okay. You give him plenty of fluids, he doesn't get dehydrated. Yeah, and I'll check back on you tomorrow. <laughs> When are we supposed to sleep? Not that I mind. I was born to heal. Heal, Blanche. Welcome back to motherhood, ladies. I'm sure you will do. There were smallpox, scurvy, typhoid, and that was business class. <laughs> what I need to know is, does your mother require any special medical care? She does. Uh, an, an old war injury. Remember the main? She didn't. Tampered with. Uh, wait a minute. You two read my diary, didn't you? That's despicable. I will tell you what is despicable, Missy. Some of the things you wrote in that diary. This is my book for my eyes. You have no right to invade my privacy. Rose, you said some terrible things. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Benjamin wasn't black. He was from New Jersey. <laughs> I went to my senior prom with a Yankee. <laughs> Mommy let you have another kitty? Yeah, she said she would get me one next week. Well, if you promise to give him a really, really good home, I'll let you have Mr. Peepers. Great. Would it be okay if I call him Harpo? Well, I don't think he'd mind. Thanks a lot, lady. <laughs> oh, and your presence and your designer luggage and you think you're better than everybody else. You have everything. Do you have to have Ma, too? I mean, all these years you've been her favorite. All I wanted was this time with her. Dorothy, you are crazy. You're Ma's favorite. You always have been. Oh, come on, Gloria. You're the one who always got all the attention to you. First, my alarm didn't go off, so I was late to work, and then I had a flat tire on the way. And when I finally got there, I smashed my hand in the door. Ooh. Oh, I feel like crawling under the covers and eating Velveeta right out of the box. <laughs> hey, this explanation's got to be a pip. <laughs> explanation no 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 none of those i just wanted to apologize for tonight and say i hope we can still be friends sure blanche but there's something i need to know me the old one isn't so crazy about you <laughs> roger likes everybody else in the office i don't know why he doesn't like me i go out of my way to be friendly you know that happy thought of the day that I write down and give to everyone? He doesn't even like that. <laughs> but I have a plan. Uh, a man who is open, caring, honest, who has eyes only for me. Pussycat, you got your roast beef. Don't push it. <laughs> that was the hospital. Stevens had a heart attack. Tell you what, this. What is it? Rose's diary. What are you doing with it? It was just lying out on the dining room table. I picked it up and, and the lock just popped right open. Just like this. <laughs> Listen to this. Dear diary, I don't know how much longer I can stand. That's a better example of a secret. Oh, then you have been talking about me. I'm your best friend. She's been talking about me, Blanche. No. I haven't been talking about either one of you. What? I've been talking about both of you. I mean, how could I choose between you two? You're <laughs> both my best friends. I would like to introduce you to that extraordinary nine-year-old girl right now, Rose Nyland. Uh, I'm Rose Nyland. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm the one who wrote the letter. Oh, boy. Tell me about that. 
I wish you hadn't done that, oh, Blanche. Hush up. It was for your own good. There's something you just don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. I pushed you into meeting all those women. That's why this happened. But it is over. Rose will be just fine. Blanche, it's not oh, as simple as... Hey, mister. You want me to play it had to be you for the two of you? I want you to play it for the four of us. Astronaut, except for, well, you know, that I thing. <laughs> I've been working for this Meals on Wheels program, Dorothy, and I need a driver, please. Oh, all right, Ma, I'll cancel banjo eyes. <laughs> Don't worry. The other dates, Glory. love trains. Oh, uh, excuse me. Uh, what track does the 915 to Miami leave on? Well, ma'am, we've only got one track, but we call it track 19. Nobody knows why, but it sure gives everybody something to talk about while they're waiting on the next tornado to hit the mobile home. Yeah, it must be. I just oh, got out. Oh, oh. Uh, Michael decided to take this. Dorothy, that's our jacket. Do something. I'm sorry, Rose. I left my flamethrower in my other purse. Here. Let me handle this. <clears throat> oh, listen here, mister. Now, I would like to have a word with you. I paid good money. Hi, Lance. Hi, Rose. Have you girls been? Well, we were helping elderly people get a good grip on the escalator. We just lost all track of time. Oh, sweet. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Can you guys hold our bags? Shoot. We want to go toss a few pennies in the fountain. Oh, okay. I'm going to make a wish that we stay pals forever. Oh, sweet. <laughs> we'll see you in the car. <laughs> and then one day, suddenly, Pee Wee disappeared. Well, we docked in Sicily, and I was going through customs, and I... I noticed a strange odor coming from my suitcase. I thought it was the veal shank that I was bringing over for Mother's Day. But when the customs man opened the suitcase... Yeah. Being with you guys these last few weeks is the most fun I've had in years. You really made me forget my loneliness. Thanks. I can't believe it. I'm going to the Bahamas. Dale! 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 Just have to do until Disney unveils their Dumbo line. <laughs> I'd better grab something to eat before Eddie gets here. Wait a minute. Why don't you just go out to eat? There never seems to be enough time. <laughs> Off the hook. Not one phone call from a man all day, Rose. By the way, Dorothy, if I were a lesbian, I sure would be a popular one. Look at this. <laughs> 20 calls. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I want to be loved by you. Just you. Nobody else but you. I want to be loved by you. Alone. What's your name? His name's Don, and he just had hip surgery. No. It was a nice couple of months. I'll miss him. Think he'll remember me? I don't know. I'll remember him. I finished the scarf, you know. Oh, great. Listen, next time we go to... Oh, oh, I know. Come on, Ma, too easy. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> My talent is molding men. And I'm not doing this just for myself. I'm doing it for baseball, for the fans. The community expects something of me. Oh, oh, oh I know. <laughs> oh, God, where are the paramedics? I'll go call them again. Rose, you'll stay with Dorothy. Dorothy, she'll be fine. I'm sure it isn't a heart attack. A heart attack's bigger. I've seen a heart attack. Charlie had a heart attack. Then it wasn't like this? Oh, it was much worse. If only the paramedics would get here. I'm being dramatic, you moron. <laughs> I mean, I spit at the name Dorothy. I have no daughter. I have no spit. <laughs> Honey, can't you go to the eye doctor tomorrow? 
Please, I can hardly see... <laughs> Pass. Me too. I'm not touching that. I mean, I put on 12 pounds just from dinner alone. Let's go for a walk. Right, burn it off. Oh, are you kidding? After what we ate, we'd have to walk. Listen, Rose, you are not to blame. Now, you know that. Of course I know that. She was driving the combine. I wasn't anywhere near there. <laughs> Come on, Rose. It was the first year after Charlie died that was the hardest. I'd lie awake for hours. I just could not get used to sleeping alone. Then I started taking the extra pillows and shoving them under the covers so I... Still can. Uh, then you're gonna be all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Good night. Get good yourself night. a good night's sleep. Good night. Oh, Blanche, um, just out of curiosity, were they in the dream? As flying, vicious toad of a mother. Is there a problem? Oh, not at all. Happy as ever at Happiness House. <laughs> Aww. Well, I guess we should be going. Oh, not before I get a picture. Oh, Rose. Oh, come on, Dorothy. It's your prom picture. Uh. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> so, uh, Ted, did I hear someone say you were a doctor? He's not just a doctor. He happens to be one of the top neurosurgeons in the Midwest. Get out of here. He's also heavy into real estate. Now, it's nothing much, really. I just own a few mini malls. Oh, your wife must be very proud of you. Miles. Have you ever thought about us getting married? Uh, well, well, sure. Yeah, eventually, as soon as I put a little money away. What? Uh, what, you think I'm being cheap again, huh? <laughs> Boy, was I embarrassed when I showed up for handball with Walter Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you ever run into Walt, don't tell him he looks like Captain Kangaroo. Miami's most glamorous anchor man is coming here? Oh, I'm gonna go freshen up. If his butt. How sweet of Lucas to do this. Guess he wanted to make sure I got to the church on time. Oh, what a darling. Actually, I think, uh, I think Maple is quicker. This heads out to the expressway. Honest man. <sighs> Do you think about that? and give me a dirty look when I order lobster. I don't care. Blind. Oh, all right, all right. Maybe he's not perfect, but I happen to be in a little dating slump right now, and I'm just happier having a man who isn't perfect than looking around for one who is. That's what Bush told everyone when he was choosing a vice president. <laughs> Split the money. <laughs> Well, Blanche, looks like the splits have it. Big Daddy was right. Women should not be allowed to vote. <laughs> Blanche, if it's any consolation, when I wrote down, give it to the old lady, I did mean you. <laughs> Hi. When this life popped up in the floor, we don't know about fucking bills, fucking bills, fucking bills, fucking bills. The friend is life, I've got nothing to lose, lose, lose. Every challenge that I face, I take it in stride The road to success is a bumpy ride But I keep my head up, eyes on the goal With every step I take, I'm feeding my soul I've seen the highs and lows, felt the joy and the pain But through it all, I know it's worth the game They say the grind is tough, but I'm tougher still With every rhyme I drop, I'm bending the will I'm a fighter through and through No matter what, I'll see it through with every beat, I'm making moves In this life, I got nothing to lose I'm
Got dreams to chase, mountains to climb Every second counts, no wasting time I've been down before, but I always rise With every setback, I sharpen my mind and No looking back, only forward I go With the heart of a lion, I'm stealing the show They can doubt, they can hate, but I'll never break I'm writing my fate with every step I take I'm a fire through and through No matter what, I'll see it through Every beat I'm making moves In this life I got nothing to lose I've been knocked down But I rise again With every fall I'm closer to the rim No surrender, no backing down In this game of life I wear the crown Crown, 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 crown. I'm a fire through and through No matter what I'll see it through Every beat I'm making moves In this life I got nothing to lose I've been knocked down But I rise again With every fall I'm closer to the wind No surrender No backing down In this game of life I wear the crown I'm a fighter through and through No matter what I'll see it through Every beat I'm making moves In this life I got nothing to lose I've been knocked down But I rise again With every fall I'm closer to the win And no surrender No backing down In this game of life I wear the crown You brought the news to St. Olaf That the British had no intention of coming <laughs> Our old Brisker the horse who, because of a printing error on the ballot slips, was elected water commissioner for six months. Hi. Hi. Did you have fun at the track? You went to the track? Oh, we... Yeah. Hmm. You think we'll stay like this always? I think eventually we'll have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and you'll love me always? Always. Because I won't always look like this, you know. Honey, you don't look like you did ten years ago, but that hasn't been back in college. Oh. <laughs> Darn thanks. He'll spin back. What they use? A big ear stapler? <laughs> okay, so I made a few little slips. But I can keep a secret, Dorothy. I'll prove it to you. You tell me what you got for Sophia, and if I <laughs> Well, then what is the surprise, Daddy? Well, I was going to save it, but what the heck. I'm singing at the Sagebrush Club tomorrow night. You doing what? I'm singing. That's my surprise. And I want you and your friends... to be the kind of guy you want to meet your mother. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring out a lady who actually claims to know which one is Siegfried and which one is Roy. Dorothy, show us your Zbornak! You'll uh, have to uh, excuse me. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> no, no, wait. I cannot allow this to happen. Now, this whole thing was my fault. I am the one who must go. No, nobody is going to go anywhere now. There's got to be another way. Well, what choice do we have? I mean, oh, I'll miss you. And you know I love you. But it's the only way. I'll just have to find some other... <laughs> Being right-handed, I would slash from left to right. But from the fact that the murder weapon was dropped to the left of the victim, we can deduce that the murderer is left-handed. Notice that Gloria, like most left-handed people, wears her wristwatch on her right wrist. Oh, nuts. <laughs> of course, cash today. Tomorrow the price goes up. The Kimmel isn't getting any younger. Well, $2,500 seems a little steep. 3000 You ticked me off. <laughs> Now you're watching a real artist at work. Oh, honey, you don't know how much good this does us. Wait just a minute. What's the catch? That is so typical of you. <laughs> Why do you automatically assume because I'm trying to do something nice, there's a catch? So there isn't a catch. I didn't say that. <laughs> it just ticks me off that you automatically assume there's one. Ma, what is it you 